Today, our heroes awake feeling stronger, more powerful, albeit perhaps a little uneasy or restless. Yesterday, Governor Elric von Sorensen had decided that the two teams vying for their place in the Gauntlet of Gathering must engage in non-lethal combat in order to represent Klippe and the whole region of Piat. Will our heroes outperform this rival team once more? Or was their last victory caused by a mere stroke of luck? We shall see as this first chapter of their adventure comes to a close. All right. Uh, damn it, I forgot to give this to you. <laughs> so the, that's the Albert link. The password is the chapter ends. Okay, you guys wake up. It is the morning. Uh, I just put you in the in your regular places here, but then you can you can decide if you came from sleeping somewhere else or not. But the point is, the other room was vacant uh, because the other party did not bed here for that night. Uh, Mira comes out of her room. Because we forced them out. Sure. <laughs> she mm. stays at her concierge area. Uh, that's it. Uh, so you guys wake up. Feeling better. You guys just leveled up from level 2. You're level 3 now. Uh, you can roleplay just a little bit for this part. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go out <laughs> cool i will join yeah, we'll as a work and do some stretching and just be pumped all right yeah dark pumped. moon does her stretches in, in the same place all right cool i'm just like sitting down like planning what to do because like fatima got to me in a way like a little bit like in my head like oh shit, she's gonna come for me so he's like strategizing <laughs> about what's gonna happen so, okay yeah, okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and character yawning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cassandra is fixing their hair. Cool, cool. Sai and Lano, what are you doing? Lano's gonna get up too and actually wake up early this morning. Enjoy <laughs> 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 the party. <laughs> cool. Do, 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 do. All right. There you go. Sai, what are you up to? I'm gonna go to eat. All right, go downstairs. Uh, the rest of you do your planning and whatever, but I'm going to go downstairs. All right? Uh, those of you who want to go down as well, you can. But there is a little bit of a ruckus downstairs. Uh, pretty early in the morning, you hear... Uh, you hear... Gemma is like, Oh! Oh dear! Oh mine! Oh mine good! And then she's like, you hear like the clinking and clanging of pans and you know, a little bit of like chairs falling over and whatever. And then oh, no. Gemma is like running around here and Boyd is like uh, also like coming out with, with like a carrot in his hand, like kind of like whacking whacking stuff and then like boy like falls over under the table and then Gemma is like running around uh Kuang Diri si Cassandra let me get Cassandra oh there you are oops Cassandra is there and napay Kuang uh, hold on hold on let me replace some of my tokens because let me replace some stuff. There's two of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting rid of the other one. Uh, you guys see uh, this creature come out from under the table. Oh, okay. Little baby. It's it's a small uh it looks like a white weasel. He goes oh. and then he's like running around and then 
Boyd is like, yeah, and swings like a carrot, and then easily enough, the weasel just jumps, jumps out of the way, and then Gemma is like, oh, 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 she's like holding her her like dress while she's like running. <laughs> it's like, what? ah, ah, and then the weasel is just, eh, 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 and then he he jumps on top of this table. Oh no, uh, Dark Moon, Dark Moon, uh, jumps. At the weasel trying to catch it. Okay, make me yeah, to try to contain it. Make me a oh. grapple check. So that's athletics, and then <laughs> I'm gonna make a acrobatics check. Oh crap! Never that's mind. Fine. What did you roll? A six. A six. Yeah, he rolled a a twenty on the die, and then he has modifiers. <laughs> So easily oh, enough. Yeah. Dark, Dark, Moon, Dark Moon just woke up. Um, yeah, yeah. She she not awake. He 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 jumps on onto the back of your uh, shoulder and then like runs down your spine and then goes down, jumping over here, onto the table where Azurek is. I'll, I'll make an attempt. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can you can do a uh, athletics check as well against his. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, he 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 jumps on your head, <laughs> and then <laughs> he jumps on your head, and then you see Azurek just like grab like the hot, like in front of him, and then Azurek like, stands up, and then he's like on top of the head. Where would you go? Where would you go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you gonna do, gonna... Sai? Sai um, wanted to do something. Does friends does the friend spell work on it? I wanna try the friend spell. Let me check what friends does. Sai, Sai, Sai. Friends. <laughs> You have advantage on all charisma checks directed at one creature of your choice. Uh, yeah, you can, and then you can try to talk to it. The problem is, uh, I do not think they they would understand you. So, your your talking to them would not uh be very beneficial right now. I would say. Why is it so cute? I just pour my charismatic aura to the <laughs> creature and make it. <laughs> Be friendly towards me. Uh, sure. Make me an animal handling check with. Oh no. <laughs> Okay. Animal handling <laughs> check. Let's see. The spell creature influence becomes a creature point of violence. A creature might seek. Okay, you do not have advantage on this. It just oh, means my... it just means it's not going to be hostile towards you. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. After Sai Lano, you can do something. You wanted to do something. Animal handling is 12. Uh, he's going to stay on top of Azavrek's head. Uh, look, look at Sai, and then uh, he's going to kind of like lean <laughs> like towards you, and then uh, he's going to... Let me roll something. Nope, that's caught. Ooh. Ooh. He's gonna take his oh paw no. back and then he's gonna jump down as of Rex shirt and then oh no. through <laughs> through like the bottom of his Slightly shirt wiggling. and then and then like and then he Ooh. and then he's gonna gonna <laughs> and then like running around here. Uh Lano, what did you wanna do? I wanted to get the carrot from from Bo Boyd. Uh, Boyd is <laughs> like for the animal. <laughs> Boyd is like swinging blindly at this area. <laughs> I got you now. <laughs> like this area. <laughs> but yeah, like before before he takes one more swing, you can like easily grab the carrot from behind him. And as he swings, <laughs> like he looks at his hand is huh. <laughs> So I've got the carrot. I'm, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> here, buddy. <laughs> uh, he's gonna he's gonna go up to you and then look at the carrot, and he's gonna be like, ah, 
and then he's gonna run around here. <laughs> he doesn't like carrots. Okay, noted. <laughs> Wrong animal. Can <laughs> <laughs> I catch it? You can make a grapple check. Go for Wait, it please? as as he passes by you. Make a grap grapple check. He's gonna do. Can I also try to do that? Yes, both How of you can do that. Roll the I think I forgot how to roll. Wait, That's man. athletics, langa, no? Athletics, exclamation mark, C, space, athletics. Oh, shit. Never mind. What Oof. is this? <laughs> Got it. Okay, go. you rolled an 18, but he rolled a 16 I... plus... Oh, come on. Wait, they didn't add modifiers yet. Plus so, three. <laughs> so that is a 19. <laughs> so very close. You see uh, as as it jumps over Thalia, Thalia tries to grab it. And then as it jumps in the air, you see uh, Cassandra grab it with both of both of uh, their, their hands. And then it just wriggles out. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then goes goes into the kitchen. <laughs> and then Boyd is like, oh, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Like underneath the tea table. Don't eat it. Dark Moon chases it. Okay, Dark Moon, you go. Oh. Cool. And right now she she looks like a cat, just like you know, with her eyes but it's yeah. a little bit narrowly thin. Narrowed. And she's on, she's on all fours. Alright, alright, cool. <laughs> Not this cat. Okay. Not this not hurting the cat. How dare you? You guys go. Uh, the rest of you. I'm just gonna stay. And then, and then again, here. she tries to like pounce. So you go. Uh, let's let the check again. What? Yo. <laughs> What is going on? Just Dang. shit rolls nope. tonight. <laughs> nope. We're getting it out. We're getting them roll. out. So no. slips easily <laughs> slips out. out. <laughs> <laughs> so Dark Moon, you got your thing. Uh, Sai, what do you want to do? You're following Lano's after. Can I can I make uh my can I do a minor illusion spell? Okay, what are you <laughs> and then make creating? Like a small cage around it, and then uh, my play ko mga sound similar sa iyahan. Sound. You're making a cage? Yeah. I mean, oh. a small house around it. That oh, it can around it. Down. Okay. It stops in its tracks as, like, its surroundings uh, become darken a little bit. I'm playing some music. Playing I'm music? Playing some music with minor illusion. Okay. All right. Mama All right. Call me. Uh, make me... This is confusing. Make me an animal handling check as well. Uh, oh. I'll give you advantage this time, and then he is going to make me an intelligence check to figure out if this is an illusion or not. Ooh, oh, he does not. What is your animal handling yeah. check? Advantage. Oh, no advantage. That's but it. that is good enough. He's gonna stay oh. in the house. He's he's gonna be like, oh, mm, oh. and then he you see him kind of like <laughs> lean on Me. his back, and then he puts his arms out like that, and then he like his <laughs> legs like cross, cross, and then he's like, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Nice. Nice. It's like sparkles around him. <laughs> he's like he's like just playing at the at the sparkles. That's what he's doing. All right. You have so bougie. The creature. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what else? Now, do we actually tap it with a real cage, or? I would say, <laughs> I would say, at this point, if if Sai were to try to like get it, Sai, they wouldn't try to run away from Sai. They're like friendly towards Sai right now. Oh, All that's right. Sai, is it? Okay, there you go. Size got it. Uh, you can you can return over here. At this point, boy would come in. You got it. Yes, we're gonna have some weasel <laughs> boy, don't stew. Eat it. Don't don't eat 
the weasel. No, why not? At this point, like the weasel no, is like hiding behind the Sai. The weasel's very small. It's like the the length of like a whole hand, like from here to here. So you can like hold it's it like so that cute. if you want. Yeah. It's like a true monk. Boyd is like, what are you talking about? We can't eat it. He's been causing a ruckus this whole morning. I just let her have it, Chef Man. What? What? Well, you better make sure that uh, he, he stays out of the kitchen. Now, all no of you, problem, right, all of you get out of the kitchen now. This is my, course, my, excuse, excuse, excuse. I mean, uh, all right, all right, you, all you right. gotta, you gotta move, go. right, you got, you, I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> just walk over, <laughs> 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 is like, in home, in home. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. She said. Uh, now you have, you I have this weasel. show everyone the weasel. He's like very friendly, uh, Klein. But you do hear... Uh, it's little stomach grumble. And then it goes... Oh. It's like that. I wonder what the smell it eats. The doll. What do weasels eat? I don't know. That's bacon. bacon. <laughs> 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 No one can say no bacon. And mice. Mice are the weasel's primary prey. <laughs> oh, you guys, wow. you guys yeah, can make me. Mice. You guys can make me nature or animal handling checks. We'll make an animal handling check. What? <laughs> nature. Dark Moon. You. That's you're like own. weasel. Weasel is a rat. Therefore. <laughs> They eat cheese. They eat cheese. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, as a wreck. Hey. Yay. 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 Uh, oh no, what happened? Oh, oh, right. Right. Damn it. Smart one can yeah, part smart. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. Uh, Welcome so, back. Lanu. Nope, not, not enough, unfortunately. Like a weasel. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, like you, are, <laughs> you are confused because this weasel is white. Uh, mm. The weasels you're familiar with in Gamoril, they're typically like of a reddish color, reddish brown. So you, why, why are weasels? Why are they white? That's what you're thinking. <laughs> Thalia. They're an albino, albino Thalia, weasel. You know that do you know the reason they're white is because it's winter here in Athendil, and weasels' fur change color when it's in the winter. Uh, so you pr you guys probably had that conversation like, what's a weasel? Why why is this weasel white? And then Natalia is like, actually, because we. <laughs> With my pointy finger on the glasses. <laughs> uh, Sai, uh, you kind of scare it a little bit. You're trying, it's like you were trying to be friendly and then you were too friendly at some point. So now it's scared again and it's just like shaking Aww. and quivering here on the table. As a wreck with that 20, there's something odd about this weasel. Please also make me an arcana check because oh, you rolled no. so well. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe it's Fatima. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. she turned herself into a weasel. Uh, Lano, did you did you say that in character? Uh, oh, uh, so, Lano, no. <laughs> <Should I? laughs> no. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> as of wreck, as of wreck, with that Arcana check and your uh, check in in nature as well. You realize that this is not, in fact, a weasel, but not, it is what? a woozle, which is very, <laughs> very <laughs> easily confused with weasels. But a woozle is a magical creature that uh, is always white, 
and has magical abilities uh, compared to like a weasel, which is just like a regular creature. So this is a woozle. Well, as a direct teacher, that would be group. So I like, I like kneel down a bit, like, so that I'm like eye to eye with the thing, and then I'm like, all right, guys, it's a woozle. <laughs> so <weird. laughs> the rest of you are probably like what the hell is a woozle <laughs> you okay on the wreck <laughs> i guess i'll just i'll just like explain can i like go on and like yeah yeah okay yeah you can explain yeah you can explain uh uh say so, yeah. do you think this was sent by the uh the other team a spy on us or something if it's a spy, I can squish it. Oh, wait, are you talking to me? Or me? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm talking to everyone. Um, but he's so yeah. cute. Uh, as of rec, at the can moment, I an check? you can make an insight check. While you're doing your insight check, as of rec, as you say, woozle, the woozle is going to look at you and like lock their eyes they normally he was very like adhd like with his like looking everywhere but as you say woozle he looks at you directly and he's like oh, lanu with your inside check uh you do not think the woozle is hostile or trying to be deceptive they are just hungry <laughs> And uh, they were they were they were trying to look for something to eat this morning. That's it. But okay, at this point, right. you saw the woozle is talking to trying to talk to as a Does anybody does anybody speak woozle? <laughs> does anyone speak with animals for today? <laughs> Otherwise, I no. <laughs> That's um, it. I don't know how we can. <laughs> unfortunate. Style in there, guys. Uh, is it all right if you... I if I uh put some food choices in front of the woozle? Okay, what are the choices? Wait, how do you spell woozle? Uh, W O O Z L E. Ah, uh, what are mga illusion lang na food ba para? Yes, I'm a Google. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Sai? Okay, what are the choices? I'll, please okay. give me three choices. Oh, no. Guys, okay. help. Bacon. Give him bacon. <laughs> okay, bake berries. Do we even have bacon? <laughs> uh, you, you, you present <laughs> bacon, and then he's like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, berries. <laughs> Probably a vegetarian, then. Oh. Leaves. Cabbage? Salad, salad. Sagbot. Salad. Shh. At no. this point. Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. That one offers, that that one offers milk. <laughs> he, uh, no? Milk. The woozle is gonna be cautious towards uh, the milk because, you know, you were trying to pounce at him multiple times. He's not gonna approach you. He's gonna, like, Go towards the I edge. Leave it, I leave it on the table and I'm like, okay, I walk away. The woozle is gonna go I... go up to the the milk, and you put a milk bottle. <laughs> what are you putting? No, like, I I pour milk on the cap. Ah, okay. The bottle. Cap. It's gonna it's gonna start licking at the cap and. Yeah, no. At this point, uh, someone enters the room. It is this guy. Which one? This guy enters. <laughs> and then he's like, <gasps> he's like, he's he enters and he says, "Guten uh, morning okay, and sir? and oh whatever um, excuse me, excuse me." And he like uh you know like nods at everybody. Oh excuse me, uh travelers. Oh, and then he passes here. He doesn't he doesn't pay attention to what's happening around, and he goes over. Ah yes, Gemma. Now, oh, good morning, uh, 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 Mr. Telram. He's like, ah yes, uh, have you by any chance seen a, uh, it, it's, it's a little, little white, 
um furry it it uh it's like a ferret it's like a the chef cooked it it's a dog oh oh my oh no or and he goes to the back bush stomps the door open and oh oh no oh no and then boy is like what is happening is it carrying another carrot and I, it's like where is it where is where, disturbing Boyd. where is woosley what have you done to woosley carrying the the halfling as like shaking him what have you done and then like throws boy to the side bush like, woosley are you all right? Oh no. Oh dear, Fatima is going to kill me. Is it Woosley? Like looking down at the, at the, at the table, looking inside the stove. Woosley, are yes, you that's with Yes, Woosley's meat right there being grilled. He's like, what have, what have you done? What have you done, Halfling? <laughs> you are going to answer for your crime. Uh, I did not. I, no, no, I did it. I did it. I did it. Kill it. They told me not to kill it. Who told you not to 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 eat it? They're, they're the 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 your kind outside. My kind. They're more Leonin, and then he drops them. <laughs> <laughs> where, <laughs> where are the other Leonins? I must see them. You and then he's like, you're not a Leonin, and then. Oh, uh, what, what are you? What are you doing, Sairi? Could I grab? Could I grab him? Is he comfortable enough? Like with me to like grab him and like because him my because Woosley is like drinking the milk, you can grab him and he's gonna be like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> just hide him inside my cloak for a bit. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then he's gonna go over here and then he says, uh, he's gonna make a he's smart enough. Yeah, okay, so he realizes, oh, the halfling was not talking about other Leonin. He was talking about other adventurers, yes. Uh, Telram is very smart. I am very smart, yes. <laughs> so, um, my apologies for causing such a fuss. Uh, I am looking for, for a creature that looks like a small white rodent. Have you seen them? Uh, who's this inside? And then he's gonna look at the rest of you, and then he's gonna be like, "Oh, my apologies!" And he's gonna take a deep bow. We we have been constantly meeting, and I have not given you the privilege of learning my name. I am Telram, and it is very fine to meet other adventurers like you. And I am looking very much forward to our bout today. But. Okay. I must, I must look for, I must find this uh, white creature that I spoke of. They are very important to the group. Why is it, why is the thing important? Oh, because you see that is thingy that she, thingy is <laughs> Fatima's familiar. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's dead. Oh, do, why do you know? What else? <laughs> we we found the corpse lying outside. Where is this corpse? What else? Landing with the snow. In here, <laughs> you know. By the, the snowman. Yeah. <laughs> Decomposing. Sh pl <laughs> well, please show it to me. Lady. Oh, no. Who uh, are you? I'm not, I'm not your servant. You go find it for yourself. You must understand. No, I don't understand. Ooh. I don't speak your language. I, I, I am speaking common. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you're speaking. <laughs> he, he's gonna, he is going to like bow and be very polite. It is very important that I find Woosley. Woosley, we care very much for our Woosley. And we were searching for him this morning. And we were about to feed him his, his favorite. And then he takes out like a jar of honey. Oh, no. And then he's like, he was supposed to have breakfast. But then he, he was nowhere to be found. The rest of my party is out of the... Outside of the town, knocking on people's doors, looking for our Woosley. It is very, at this point, as of wreck, Woosley is like, you know, like moving around. Wiggling, here. yeah. 
He's gonna make a perception check. Oof, that's a bad roll. He's not gonna notice. <laughs> Oh Dark Moon approaches the lion man and asks him, "What does Woosley do for you exactly?" Do for Woosley is our what do you call it? A uh, uh, our team mascot. He uh, he does not do much for me per se. He is uh, Fatima loves him very much. Yes. Uh, if w- F- I think Fatima loves him more than he loves all, of- she loves any of all of us combined. To be honest with you, like if Fatima had to choose whether to save Woosley Aww, or to, kinda sad. or or how, how how do you feel about that? I completely understand. I'm I'm quite a handful. I mean, and those the other two, the Loxodon and the the Deep Gnome, they're. I'm not too quite fond of them, to be honest with you, but they make for a good part. And then he kind of like draws on about like some of the, <laughs> some of the things they've done. <laughs> but he makes you it, but he makes it a point to all of you that F- Fatima and the rest of the party really care a lot, a lot about Woosley. Woosley is their party, quote unquote, party mascot, and <laughs> they don't do. Like Woosley doesn't do like a whole lot for the party. It's very much Fatima's companion, and he's expressing that Fatima is very worried and angered right now. And if uh, Tel Ram is not able to secure uh, Woosley, uh, they would be very distraught. <laughs> Dark Moon th- thinks uh, they should give. Woosley back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, yeah. 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 As a okay. Because we don't no play the No low blows. But not, not the Telegram. Is it possible for Azevrek to go like, um, uh, bring me to Fatima and I'll show oh, you where no. the Oh, no. I will go with you. Yeah, so, so on that one. Are you? You know what? I'll, so, I'll do you, do you in so do you have Woosley then? Uh, yeah, sir. Maybe, maybe. Quiet, him, but, uh, sir. Him outside. By by the way, like I've oh, introduced, I've introduced time. myself to you, but like, what? Are, oh, sorry. What? Fuck. What are all your names? <laughs> <laughs> I do not My find it. <laughs> okay. Hel- good. Good morning, sir Azavrek. I am Telram. G- uh, hello. Dark good morning, Sai. Si. Uh, hello, Dark Moon. Yes. House uh, of Splendor. Dark Moon House of Splendor. House of Splendor. That is a very lovely... Lanu of... Yes. Hello down there. <laughs> 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 like... But anyway, do so, Sir Azurek, do you... are you saying that you have uh, Woosley? Yes. Like, like leans in closer. Uh, in all honesty... I would much rather deal with Fatima myself, given how yesterday ended. Uh, I believe it's in uh, good. It's in my good faith for good faith that I uh, deal with her and um, uh, yeah, tell her where Woosley is. Tell I may or may not have him, but yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> tell Ram will. <laughs> tell Ram will look at you in the eye and then he will say, "I must warn you." Almost, you have seen how Fatima is. She is very quick to anger, and this dis- this occurrence of Woosley disappearing has caused her to tip over much easily. It is not very... I do not recommend that you face her now. It will only aggravate her some more if you reveal to her that you have been holding Woosley. I... What I can do for you, as of wreck, is if you hand over Woosley now, and I will return to Fatima, I will tell them that your company uh, helped in making sure that Woosley did not turn into this tavern's breakfast special. Dark Moon thinks we should trust him, because after all, he knows Fatima more than any of us do. Yeah, Lana is... How does everyone else feel? 
Lana's, Lana's sure. like, uh, that's probably the best. That's probably the best deal we're gonna get as a frick. Yes, okay. quite. Uh, if the public agrees, we'll uh, we'll give him back. There you go. And I reach out and to my uh, cloak and pass him. Well, the side got really big. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Oh, there you are, Woosley. And Woosley is going to to like jump uh, onto uh, Telram's hand. <laughs> And like run around his armor. Oh yes, oh yes, Woosley. And then oh, I have a treat for you. And then he takes out his jar of honey and like opens it a little little bit. And then Woosley is like about to jump into it, <laughs> like dive into it. Yeah! And then <laughs> Telram like grabs him. Like, oh, be careful! You know how Fatima does not want you to get all. And then they kind of they kind of like walk away. Much thanks, uh, fine adventurers. Uh, it was well met. I will see you all later. Uh, good day. I'll see you all later. And then, you know, Woosley's happily, like, munching on the honey. Uh, what did, what was Sai doing? You're saying we made sure that what? We made sure she wasn't eaten. Y yes, quite. I uh, thank you for that. Uh, oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> the, there you go uh, they they go uh, at this point I say as a wreck you're reminded after seeing Woosley you're reminded that you can summon a find a familiar right now uh, while hey. you're doing that uh, at this point I'll say that you know you have your breakfast Gemma like prepares you whatever you guys want salad for Lano uh, ale well, I'm and just like. Gonna try the pancakes. See if they okay, like <laughs> everybody gets pancakes. <laughs> Boyd is like super happy. Boyd's morning was ruined, but after you asking him to like make pancakes and waffles, he you know his mood brightens up yeah, a little bit again. Time. There you go. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, Sai will cast mage armor. Good job. You guys are having breakfast <laughs> while you guys are uh, eating your breakfast. Uh. Maybe after, as of wreck, you can cast your fine familiar. You borrow oh, like yeah. you borrow like a a large like metal bowl from from Gemma, kind of like to use it as a brazier, and then you summon your familiar. Yes, can you describe that to me? That whole event. Okay. Um, what do you mean the casting the familiar, or just me? Get or... Yeah, yeah, casting the familiar and what your party sees and describe that. We'll play it out a little okay, bit. Wait, let me... Okay, let me get the uh, picture up because I forgot what, <laughs> what route. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, I, I, I got it. I'll put the picture up. You just worry about uh, talking about it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you... You see the um okay so I'm describing it. You see the uh like puffs of smoke just start enveloping the area, the bowl I guess, and then like poof, um this grumpy like just basically look half dead, like a hundred years old looking cat, and yes, very stressed out, just not having a great day. Also, if you can notice the ears like like half cut off, that's because um uh uh she's uh yeah just she's been through a lot she's just Gosh. so freaking old and and just Gosh. she just yeah there she sounds very uh, stressed out Gosh. and so can i interact with ruth or Gosh. Gosh. what did you call her <laughs> so uh i i talked to ruth i'm like uh oh hello ruth uh it's been a while what? have you been do you want me to give Ruth a voice, or...? <laughs> you could just have her be like... Rrr, 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 and then ah, okay, like, okay. Ruth is gonna... Yeah. After you ask her, it's been a while, have you been... Ruth is gonna be like... Ruth <laughs> 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 like, what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Right, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's asking for um. She's asking for milk. This can can we get some milk here? I got milk. Okay. You. Yeah. Where? I'm like I meow. I meow to Ruth. 
Root's gonna be like, Nyah. Is it me or Vinny? Nyah. I'm with you on that, buddy. Um, <laughs> Dark Moon, do you do you put the the milk like near her or like a little bit away from her or what? Uh, but beside her, in front of her. Okay, you put it beside her. She's gonna appreciate that because she didn't have to move. She's gonna be like, yeah, and she goes, <laughs> drinks it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a burp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can hang out there. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. I'm watching Ruth drink her milk. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's enough for me to delete my baku. Yeah, you don't have to baku there. I was worried that like your the width you cannot fit there, but but yeah, you delete ka magbaku. But yeah, you're all gathering, you know, finishing up your breakfast, and then you. I'm gonna you ask see... Azarek. Okay, <laughs> oh, go. Wait, wait. <laughs> what dumpster did you pull that thing from? <laughs> <laughs> Oh come on! Let's not let's not go there, Lanu. I mean, um, it's, uh, she was uh, she was merely passed down across many. Um, uh, is that even possible, Wayne? Is like she was passed down from like different. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll say I'll say it's okay. it's possible. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Can't really ask for much where I'm from, so make do with what you have. I say <laughs> we can we can say. Uh, do you want her to be like an actual beast, or she's like uh, the spirit form, like in as what the fine familiar spell says? If we make it a beast, that means you know. If she dies, she dies. She yeah. Aww. So kind of don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> what we can do is what we can do is maybe you're in your manner. You guys had a real Tresim, which was Ruth, and then she passed away, and then when you summon her, oh you're God, summon yeah. you're summoning her like the latest <laughs> version of her, I guess, when she while she was alive. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can do that. Yeah, this is 1.2. Version 1.2, Ruth. Right here. <laughs> aren't, aren't, aren't versions supposed to be getting better, not worse? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the opposite. <laughs> this has aged. All right. Uh, there you go. The so color. you finish up your your meal, whatever. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, Dark Moon, you wanted to talk to Mira about uh, the mayor. Uh, what yeah. I'm not going to like have the map set up but ask your questions along now and then i'll answer them mm -hmm. mirror, mirror on the wall <laughs> oh no oh. <laughs> you, okay you get a crystal for that a clover leaf rather <laughs> i'm confusing games this one seal tulano oh okay yeah. guys so here oh. in so here in uh clover leaves um, you do something like, for example, if my character were Dante, you do something like Dante to CL, like that. And then whenever I give you clover leaves or you use them, just edit them to add like another one like that. And then it'll just, you just update your things here, okay? So everyone yeah. has one clover leaf. Lano just got a second one. So there you go. All right. So update your clover leaves there. And uh, I need to keep track of this as well because you guys can use that for other things. Okay, Dark Moon, you wanted to ask Mira? Mm, she approaches Mira and she asks Mira, um, Mira, how long have you lived here? Have you lived here all your life? I have, yes. And how well do you know the mayor? Oh, the mayor is fairly new. Uh, all I know of him is... Uh, he does not seem corrupt at all. He abides by the law and he loves contracts. 
What kind of contracts? Exactly? All kinds of contracts. One time, um, I saw someone borrow money from him, and instead of just you know just like saying, "Yes, I'll pay you back," he wanted to make a contract of someone borrowing money from him, even though it was something like two copper. Oh, uh, the guy's a stickler, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> He, he, that man loves his contracts, indeed. Okay, em emphasis on the contracts, okay. Um, but what do you know of his past, his history? His history? Where did he come from? Was he a mayor in a different um, city, things like that? Uh, I don't know much about his youth, but before he was a mayor, he was... Uh, a lawyer. <laughs> okay, I can't. Breathe. He's, he's just he's just so into contracts. <laughs> so, he, he, so he was. A, she she tells you that he was a lawyer, and they're very. It's very rare that someone you know finishes uh, law and everything. But uh, he did come from Klippe. He went out of Klippet to study law. He came back. He was a lawyer. And there aren't a lot of, like, cases to be had in Klippet because it's not a... Although it is the capital, it's not, like, a big city with, like, a lot of crime. So whenever... Like... And then Mira goes and they'll say, whenever, whenever there would be a case that we would know that he would be the he would be the lawyer the whole town would come to court because it was just like watching a show when he would uh when he would uh you know defend people and i don't know the political terms but he she t tells you that people come to the court to watch him do his like lawyer duties because he's so like <laughs> extra about it and he's like exhibit a <laughs> 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 and then the, the the people in the courtroom are just like uh you know uh enjoy watching him and then when he became mayor uh, everyone knew that he was going to go in that direction and they 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 really like him okay <laughs> okay no thank you mira oh you're very welcome yeah yeah so i share this information with the people cool Yes, he's passionate about the law. Yeah, he's a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, first I thought I thought he was, you know, he had some sort of vested interest in the other party, but now yeah. I know <laughs> he was just really put out by the broken contract. <laughs> and like yeah. at, the, at, the, at the mention of like court and and lawyer and and crime, see Dark Moon Murag Makalichag anxious a little. Are, you're criminal. You're yeah. hiding. You're hiding that from. Oh, when you were talking to Mira, not when you were telling the party. You're shaking in her boots. Are oh, cat got her tongue. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Are you trying to hide that from the party? No, oh, yeah, she. Well, no, she's just thinking that. Okay. Or she doesn't show it. Just... Okay. All right. All right, I'll say we fast forward a little bit and then we we get to almost noon and at this point you guys are preparing for your fight. All right? We Gucci. Dark Moon wears her her Black Panther outfit. Oh man, I didn't prepare I didn't prepare that token for you. But It's like tonight. But yeah, she looks like where is it now? It's somewhere here. <laughs> You put it here, Deba, in the or was it in GOG? Yeah, it's there. Yeah. There you go. This My one. baby girl, Ninja. Looks like that. All right, Sigi, I'm gonna open the new map, uh, the Clipper Beacon. Chloe's that. asking you, Wayne, if she Where can cast, cast down the on our legacies. You, yes, before the fight starts, yes, I will allow that. Uh, what level are you casting it at? What level are you? It's the same as Warlock, Diva. Two. With Warlock. Second. Are you, do you have second level slots already? Yeah. I'm, level three. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. do. Okay. All right. So this is the map. Uh, 
So you guys see uh, the opposing party. Uh, you weren't, you didn't get to meet them, but outside of out out of character, you guys, uh, their names are Telram. This is Billy Big Ears. This is Fatima, and this is Janetto J Walker. But the his party mates call him Janet, and he doesn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then Woosley oh, is over here, like on the on the, oh my God, on the ropes. He's like there, <laughs> and there's kind of there's like a crowd that's being that's gathered. You know, there are guards uh, posted on the sides that the governor and the mayor are here. Uh, you know, some miners and farmers are there. There's like uh, this guy, like he's like a merchant, I guess. There's a bard here, you know, ready to. To provide like um, music and hype to him, and then he, you know, this is gonna be DJ. a story. This is gonna be a story that he's gonna tell in the future or turn into oh, a new no. song. And then there's a fisherman who's you know taking a break, and like uh, Gemma and Jess are here as well as Boy. They're closing the inn and the tavern because uh, everyone knows that this is happening. So the whole town is kind of like closed up for this event, right? Mm. Mira's over here. Uh, another guard and then like uh, two kind of like these are like uh, cargador in English kind of like thugs I guess <laughs> yeah uh, mercenary oh. but yeah you guys can uh, at this point oh, I guess we can role play a little bit uh, you guys introducing yourselves Telram would approach uh, the party like up to here and then he will say Huzzah! Uh, now today is the day. Uh, again, well met. My name is Telram. It is very nice to meet all of you adventurers. Looking at all of you, and he's gonna try to remember as much as possible. Uh, g- hello, Dark Moon House of Splendor. Hello, Sir Azvrek. Hello, Lady Sai. Hello there, what? Sir Lanu. Uh, I do. not I do not think Salia and Cassandra gave your names, no? No. No, we didn't give. Okay, <laughs> sure. Now, might I also introduce to you uh, my comrades? This is, and then Billy Big Ears is going to stop Telram, and he's going to be like, I'll do my own introductions, Telram. <laughs> oh, yeah, certainly. <laughs> and then, Billy Big Ears is gonna have a trumpet and he's gonna he's it's the trumpet sounds like a saxophone. Oh like, and he's like my name's oh Billy God. Big Ears. I'm all about grooviness <laughs> and booginess. Yeah, you hear me? And then he's like snapping his chonkers fingers. Yeah. A bard? <laughs> he's a bard. <laughs> <laughs> and then he and then he's gonna and then the gnome is gonna be like yeah 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 and go, goes up here my name is and then billy biggers is gonna inter uh, uh, interrupt and say oh that over there is janet my name's not Jan- janet it's janetto with a toe janetto jaywalker <laughs> and then Billy Biggers is like, "That's a weird name, you know." And I, no, don't you have, you have a weird name. Your name, Bill, your name's Billy Biggers. And then they're, "Yes, yes, it's all good." <laughs> and then they're gonna be arguing, and Fatima's just gonna like stay over here. She's like still looking over at Woosley because she was worried for Woosley. But Woosley's gonna be like on the on the railings, and Woosley's gonna be like. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Are you warm up. enough? <laughs> huh? So thumbs up, and then Fatima's just gonna uh, focus again, and then look straight. She's not gonna introduce herself, but there you go. Dark Moon waves at, at Woosley. Dark Moon waves at Woosley. Yeah. Fatima's gonna Fatima's gonna look at you, look at Woosley, and Woosley is like waving. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima's gonna gonna be like a little bit a little bit confused, but uh, okay. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, okay. And then then she believes what Telram told told her that you know you guys saved Woosley from being breakfast. So, oh, but Fatima's not gonna show any gratitude or whatever. She, uh, there you go. Uh, so Telram is gonna be like it. 
once again, it is well met, and for today's bout, may the best Leonin win. <laughs> he says that. Uh, and he goes back. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. The, the oh, good, good bunch of characters are about to face off here. <laughs> and there you go. The game. Uh, if any of you guys want to introduce yourselves now or like you know have a little bit of exchange between with the other party you can do that now if not we're gonna take a break gonna sign language to the Leonin let's get ill together you know you're a good friend you, you, you seem like a good friend. Major loser. Oh. can I talk to the governor <laughs> like what before this starts like is is it like a is there like a downtime like people are still preparing so yeah we can the... yeah we can rewind a little bit before this whole thing happened uh but Cassandra as you do like let's get ale together tell Ram is like far away and then he's like what <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, ale! Yes, yes, yeah, we, yeah. yeah, ale afterwards. Sure, indeed, indeed, truly, truly. <laughs> Hot mess starts over there, but it's okay. Oh, man. There you go. Uh, the rest of you. Uh, okay, uh, you, Lano wanted to talk to the governor, so, like, before you guys went into the ring or into this area. Uh, you you talk to the governor. What did you want to talk to the governor about? Well, I I want to say like uh uh they, they, let's say I like saw him. I was like, hey, it's the big man. Listen, <laughs> I know I talk loud, but I wanted to thank you for being on our side yesterday. You know, we really appreciate it, especially after teammate tried to cut us out of the race before it even started. Oh yes, uh. I under I um understand the predicament that the situation that your both teams are in. On the one hand, the the and then he's trying to remember the the name of the other party, he's like Fatima's crew. He, he, he may, he ah yes, the, the 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 white woozles. I understand. The white uh, woozles, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's their name, the white woozles. Yes, uh, on 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 their side, they really want to represent. They really want to be part of the Gauntlet of Gathering. I do not know what it is, but both of the teams understand that if you fail here today, you still have a chance of joining the Gauntlet by representing another region. But I did want both of you to have equal chance. Uh, so that is what we are having today. Also, I also want to kind of have a look and peek at what kind of abilities uh, you people have. So this will be very educational for all of us, I think. Uh, Lana. Yeah. Uh, say, speaking of abilities, I hear you're kind of a hero around here. You were in the first gauntlet, weren't you? Indeed I was, and I, uh, it was very, he's gonna be quiet for a moment, very interesting and uh, something I will never forget, truly. And he looks at you with like very intense eyes. Oh, um, he probably lost his teammate. Do you, can you tell me a little bit about how this whole thing started? Oh, yes. And, we, and then uh, he tells you, out of character, he tells you that uh, basic lore, right? Uh, when the first rift happened, uh, Athendil was prospering for a time. Be, uh, before the first rift happened, they imported a lot of goods from their neighboring com uh, uh, kingdoms from in Avalon, so from Athenar and from uh, Athenar, Athendil, and Athen. Oh, I forget my own kingdoms, goddammit. Athendor. Athendor. <laughs> so they imported mm. from them. Also, they were in good relationships with uh, the Druids in. Gamaril, and that it was common for Athendil and the other neighboring kingdoms to send 
uh, you trade with the Druids in Gamaril, and then in turn, the Druids will also send uh, their own their own stuff uh, to Athendil and the neighboring kingdoms. But because, like, after the first rift, and people have been distrusting one another, and evil forces have been appearing uh, from different places, it those relationships just broke and Athendil started to starve and their resources become, became scarce and then the leaders of the kingdom decided that uh, the Gauntlet of Gathering uh, would be their solution uh, to make a long story short. There you go. Can I ask him what what uh, what was so unforgettable about the whole experience? Oh, everything. Um, when you visit Gamaril, it is it is something you just do not forget so easily. The place is beautiful, and as he's describing Gamaril, you do not need to hear it because you know you're from Gamaril. Like yeah. you, you just feel very. But I, I don't. I don't show that. Yeah, you just feel very nostalgic, or or like kind of like remembering a little bit uh, where you came from, and it fills you a little bit with excitement to visit there again, to go there again. But yeah, are you there, Tess? Oh, right. Yes, I'm here. Okay. I'm gonna say. Um... Yeah, yeah, I can see, I can see, um, like, how, how you, how you, uh, how do I say, uh, I can see, I can see what you mean, I see, I see that you, you love Vero very much, uh, listen, I'd love to buy you a nail sometime, you know, uh, maybe we can talk some more. Indeed, there will be a lot of time for merrymaking after today's, uh, competition, uh, we shall all have a a proper engagement after. I will look forward to it. Yeah, sounds sounds good. All right, chief. I'm gonna call him chief. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He he like chuckles as you walk and hobble over back to your party. Uh, <laughs> and then we are going to take a break. Uh, so everybody, water break. Pee, drink water. Grab a snack. So let's do that. I fully, I just fully woke up. Holy crap! Oh my god! <laughs> it's morning. Brain cells. Brain cells. Where are you at? <laughs> You're still sleeping. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, what's our plan, guys? Because Fatima is really going to aim for Azevrek. I'm going to silence her. <laughs> Ooh. I want to try and uh, I have a I have a yeah, what do you call it entangle. Where's my shield? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to hit the Leone and get he's so nice. I know, but like you know, friendly. Fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's. I I'll buy him, him an ear later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also have the. Uh, Fatim, Fatim. No. Oh, I feel bad. I don't want to hit no. Fatima because she just because I'm. She's giving me very much only child, very lonely, and only has that wee woozle. Aww. <laughs> She's giving me very much that vibe. And I don't want to hit her for that, but oh, she was still a bitch. So I want to hit her. What did you say, Sai? Chloe? I also have a spell now. Uh, maka... If I hit all of them, then... All of you guys will have advantage yes. on your roll. Nice. But yes. But you can also see the You're talking about fairy fire. And then, yeah. Hello, I have fairy fire too. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Yeah, I have that as well. I, I, was, I saw that and I was like, oh, this might be useful. So you and I were thinking the same thing. So we can cast it before our teammates can get close or something. If See, you can cast the fairy fire. I can cast entangle to try and like get them to be stuck in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. All right, High you five, guys. Yeah. 
you guys can uh, position yourselves in this area within this area like that so same as them in ana ilahang that's the position they're going with you guys can can change your position within that area okay so uh, you guys can I go lower? okay where do you want to go one, just one just one spot lower like that cool there yeah thank you thank you thank you Dark Moon, you guys, Dark Moon, Sai, Thalia, you guys okay where you at now? Yes. Okay. Here, let's go to balance the formation. <laughs> OC. Oh my god, more like my cheerleader. Oh my god, it looks good like this. Pop jazz. Pop jazz. Okay. Yo, where is Ruth, by the way? Where, where's, where's the... Ruth, Ruth probably perched on my, uh, shoulder. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, on my shoulder. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you Ruth, hold on. You will have Ruth there. Ruth is there. We got quick so sketch, Nate, Chloe, very nice go. <laughs> oh, wow, good job. You're so quick with it, what the hell? No, Clover leave for Chloe. Clover leave for Chloe. Yay! Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so quick about Just this, thirsty for clover leaves. <laughs> Join the clover leaf club, yeah. baby. You guys? No, no. It's like, you remember? I did you play Savage Worlds with us before, Clo? Or no? I forget. Nope. Uh, no. But how clover leaves work is, you can spend. If, if you're trying to affect your own rolls, it's a one-to-one -one basis on the points. For example, if you roll a d20 and then you roll a three, right? And then you have a modifier of, let's say, plus three, mm -hmm. so you rolled six. And then you want to add two points to your roll, so you spend two clover leaves to make it an eight. So oh. that's how that works. Alternatively, you can also subtract it if you want. Uh, I don't know why you do that, but you can subtract points from your own rolls. But if you want to affect the rolls oh. of another person, including the DM, it's a two-to-one basis. So if, for example, I rolled a 19, uh, what's your AC? Your AC is like something like 14 or 13. If I rolled a 13, for example, so I hit. And then you can mm -hmm. you can spend two clover leaves to mine subtract one of my uh, the one of my uh, my roll, and then I will it, it ends up being twelve. So then you would force me to miss my attack on you. You can do that. Okay. Yeah. The only thing lang is clover leaves do not create or negate critical hits. So you cannot turn a 19 to a critical. You cannot turn a critical to a 19. That's it. All right. Let's roll for initiative. Okay. Oh, crap. Oops. 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 I rolled in the wrong place. Sorry. Okay. I rolled in the wrong chat, cringe, but I got 11. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's okay. Someone, please do the the note thing with the initiative. Okay, got it. I rolled on the wrong page, but 11, 11. Shopee, 11, 11. Wow. Dark moon. <laughs> No, because I mean, I had, I had such bad rolls. I think we're going to go. Thalia rolled four. <laughs> Cassandra's 11. I need to, I need to turn on those jackets so I don't get oh, nervous. Oh, you mean to track the initiative's uh, map? Because I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. I think someone else is doing that. Ah, I see. Yeah, okay. But... I don't know how to make. You it, can't press enter. Enter. A shift enter. 
okay, 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 okay. Um. Oh, Dark Moon. Lanu seventeen. Dark Moon as a wreck. Then see Sai. Then Lanu. Then Cassandra. Should as a wreck also roll for Ruth? No, Ruth will go on his turn. Ah. Uh, my. So what's gonna oh. happen is, uh, Janetto, uh-huh. Jay Walker, and Telram are gonna go in the middle. So after Sai, it's gonna be Janetto and Telram. And then after Thalia is gonna be Billy, Big Ears, and Fatima. Ooh. All right. Mm, BB short for Billy Big Ears. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you can do JJ and then Tell and then BB and then BB. FTM. Okay, wait. Uh, sorry, I was trying to figure out the interface, so I missed all of that. <laughs> Uh, all good, all good. Yeah, it's it's it, it's confusing the thought. Um. So wait. Um. Did I do I have it? Wait. Cassandra is eleven. Eleven. Right? Okay. Sorry, Tika. Uh, and then in between. And then after Shai, that is. JJ. Uh, JJ. JJ, and then Tell. Tell. Oh, yeah, tell yeah, yeah, okay. Then. And then at the end yeah. of after Talia is uh, BB and then FTM. FTM. All right. All right. Is that complete? Mm-hmm. Did I miss anybody? That's good. You're good. Nope. You're good. Cool. That's good. All right. So. Ka. What's her name? Uh, Sai, have your mage armor and armor of Agathis. How much temp HP is that? Five. Five temp. I wait. Uh, if it's second, it I should wait. be ten. Ten. Okay. At this point, Fatima will also mage armor. And then you see, like, purple armor plates around her right now. Like, translucent purple armor around her. So I'll that's... get pink. Yours is pink? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, can I have my rapier ready? Uh, sure. You guys can. Yeah. You guys can have all your weapons drawn. So I can have both both my daggers. Yes, drawn. I will allow it. Yes. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, DM. <laughs> One clover uh, leaf for for the DM. Thank you, bro. All right. At this point, the. The governor will, you know, speak to the whole the whole crowd. He will say, Today will mark the day of when we decide who will be representing Clipper and the whole region of Piat. Bear witness, fellow men and women, children. And then he will look at both parties. And then he will look at this group. Are you ready? They will nod and like having their like weapons, weapons out, and then he will he will look at you. Are you ready? I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And so, mark. let it commence. Dark Moon, you're up as a wreck. Get ready. I move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here to the closest I could get. Yes, you can move there. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> All right. What, yeah, what, what there, else are you doing? There are shuffle tub. Okay. That it? Yeah, I can't do anything. Yeah, I'm not a magic man. All right. As a wreck, you're up. Sai, get ready. Uh, I move three. Three um, what is that? Down spaces. three um. One. Yeah, spaces two, down. Three. Uh, Ruth follows, and then I gesture towards uh Fatima, like uh, like I gestured her to uh, come over, no. to, uh, <laughs> come at me. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> is that it? Haunting. That's it. That's it. Okay, Sai, you are up. Okay, I move five, ten, fifteen. 20. I go here. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 35, 45, 50. I cast fairy fire here, yes. around here, beside, basa near them, 20 mm. man nga feet. So, my acre is a lot of them. Yeah. Here. Okay. Let me, yeah, somewhere there. Let me see fairy fire. 60 feet range, 20 foot cube. So, let me draw that for you. So the cube will so look they're like... outlined in pink light. Right, Woo-hoo. right, right. Okay. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Yes, you can reach them. And then a 20, oh, a cube, a 20 by 20 cube would be like, would be like that. Yep. And then all of them get hit. All of them have to make saves, right? Dexterity saving throw. All right, Yay. let me do that while looking at their modifiers. So, first up is... Oh, hang on, how because I'm looking at a lot of shit. So, Janetto Jaywalker with a plus six, is it? It's a plus six. That's a 16 plus six, so that's like 20 no. something. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, then up next after Janetto J. Walker is Telram with a with a minus one. <laughs> he will fail. That's a ten minus one, so that's a nine. Telram is not dexterous. He okay. focused on strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Fatima will also fail. Whoa. Yes. And then Billy will will not 20 that uh, plus four. So that's a 24. So the ones you get, Chloe, are Telram and Fatima. All right. At least I got Fatima. Okay. At least I got Fatima. We all care about Fatima. (laughs) So let me let me type type here with pink is what is it Fairy again fire, Fairy fire. Mm-hmm. okay uh, advantage on attack rolls against them i think right yep there you go, how long? There you go. i just concentrate yes you're oh. concentrating let me add that also you're concentrating there so while you're concentrating we have advantage on every attack for Telram and Fatima. Mm. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Are you done, Sai? Yeah. Cool. I just moved. Janetto J Walker. Janetto will uh move down here. He's going to bear his short bow. Oh shit. And then range. He's going to Yeah. So he's gonna look at Fatima and then he Fatima at this point like the rest of you you realize that Fatima isn't like uh as experienced a combatant as everybody in their party. The ones who look experienced are Telram and Janetto. Uh Billy Big Ears just looks like he's fooling around. <laughs> and <laughs> Fatima, is, Fatima is the one who's like still, you know, she doesn't have her stances properly, you know. And then Janetto's going to look at Fatima and he's like, do the thing. Do the thing we talked about. The one, okay. And then Fatima just nods. And then Janetto is going to aim his bow at oh. as a wreck. So, short bow, he pulls back, and then fire with a plus 6 to hit. That's a 12 plus 6 is, what is that, 18 to hit? Oh, plus 6. That hits. That hits. So you take 1d6 plus 3. That is 3 plus 3 is, you take 6 damage as a wreck. I'm going to give that. Damage. Give that to you. Six damage. All right. Is that his turn? Bonus action. 
he will he will not do anything he will end his turn tell ram tell ram will move up one two and then he will what are you doing big guy big guy is going to hold an action to attack the trigger is if someone gets in his range that's the end of his turn lano you're up cassandra get ready mm, uh, i'm going to cast um entangle um but the range is to cast this 90 but it will only be able to hit uh bb and fatima um mm. I'm gonna do that. Wait, let me cast. Um, why did I do this? I'm sorry. <laughs> the creature. Uh, do you need me out of the way? No. Uh, oh. Mm. You can move a bit. Do I? Let's see. I. Uh, a creature in the area you cast, a spell must succeed on the strength saving throw. How do I cast this? Um, on on Discord, you do this. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wait. But try pressing the cast button beside your D&D Beyond. I did, and then nothing happened. Uh, it doesn't show. Mm -mm. No. There you go. Okay. Cool. All right. I will draw the thing. 20 feet. No. Mm -hmm. If. Uh, and you're choosing BB and FTM? Fatima. Yeah. Okay. They have to make what saves? A strength saving Oof. throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see. Strength is plus we'll one. Ah, a BB will roll 17 plus one. That's an 18. Bang. And then Fatima ah. will roll. Wait, I need to roll something there that I forgot for Fatima. Ooh, wow. Okay. She will. So this is her save now. Ooh, she rolled a 19 plus. Minus one, so Dang. that's an 18. <laughs> both, all right, all right, all right, all right. So do they both save, or is there like a half something? Uh, they both say like a... A creature yeah, in the area. Both save. You can see they're action. Good. Nothing happens. Uh, a creature in the area when you cast must succeed on strengthening so, or be restrained. Or blah, blah, blah. Until the spell ends, a creature restrained by plan can use its action, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, okay. It's still there. Does it count as a difficult terrain? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do green. For the duration, these plants turn the ground and the air into difficult terrain. You did that, right? Okay, but they are not. They are not entangled, entangled. so they free. Mm -mm. Uh, so okay. they free. Yeah. All right. Is that your turn? Ready, general uh, walk. Yeah, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna move. Here. Okay. That's it. Cool. That's my turn. Cassandra, you're up. Thalia, get ready. Uh, I. I'm to take an A. What was it there? Oh yeah, I'm holding my action. The trigger is if someone casts a spell. What are you rendering? I am ready. I'm actually more than a Can I ready? Can I ready the spell silence? You can. Yeah, I'm gonna ready that. Okay. Ready. Spell. Are ready silence. Okay. When someone casts a spell, <clears throat> let me let me pay attention to that spell first, huh? If it's a choose a point situation, you might have to choose a point ahead. 
for the duration of within or pass through a 20 foot radius and sphere centered on a point. Okay, yeah. So choose. you're you're choosing a point ahead because you're not choosing a target. So choose your point ahead and just I guess you have to hope that they're not gonna move there or they are gonna stay there rather. And the man beside Billy. Beside Billy. Okay. Twenty foot radius gihapon no. Mm. So something like oops. Uh circle, circle. Oh yeah, Fatima. So you know, should you target something like it's still like that, right? Yep. That silence. Alright. Is that your turn? You're readying that. If someone casts a spell, you're doing that. Gucci? I'm gonna move next to Kan Sai and then I end my turn. Okay, okay. can you move? Yeah, I can move. 25 Manisha. Salia, you are up. I will move diagonally downwards or southeast four steps, so that's 20. Mm. And then re- use the rest of my movement forward. So 35, 35, 30, 35. 35. Like that? Yes. Like that? Cool. Yes. Cool. Um, hang on, huh? I will use my action to dash. So just another six feet, uh, six, mo- six square thingies seven, forward. Seven. Just six. I won't use my okay. entire 35. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there. Yes. Cool. And then cool. end of turn. End turn. It is now BB's turn. And then Fatima. Billy will. What will he do? He will, yeah, do this to you. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. You want manta? You want manta? You can't even make a lit. Okay. He is going to move up one space. Oh, that's difficult terrain. So that's ten, and he's he doesn't wanna stay there. So ten. This guy is gonna be like that. So then fifteen. So he stays there, and then he's gonna be like. Oh, the party's gonna is getting started, <laughs> and then he's gonna cast a spell. This will trigger silence, Nemo. Uh, Cassandra. Yes. Okay. Let me take it off. Yes. There we go. Let me You are Michelle. concentrating on silence. And then he is going to do this one, range 30 feet up the street. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, he can't do that because he's still too far away. And fuck. Same. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. He's gonna. <laughs> Damn it! I don't want him to do nothing. Well, he can come forward. Come. The tabaxi is waiting for him if he likes. No, he's just gonna. <laughs> he's just gonna do vicious mockery. So he's gonna <laughs> look at the. <laughs> do what the tabaxi? Yes. T- Ooh, uh, daring. To, to the cat, he's gonna. He's gonna look now. Hey, kitty, aren't you too far away from your litter? And then... Oh. <laughs> please make me a wisdom oh, saving dear. throw. Wisdom saving throw, Dark Moon. So exclamation mark Can save. Exclamation mark uh. save, space whiz. Itch! <laughs> you <What>? take. <laughs> a very Is that bad a save? That will fail. He will... He will... 
from that those words, he too. will deal <laughs> two psychic damage. <laughs> Oh, no. So you take two oh, psychic no. damage. Just do two dim two dama damage, two damage like that. Oops, two damage. Oops, two damage. <laughs> and then you have disadvantage on your next attack. Wait, okay. If I'm not mistaken. This on next attack. But if we hit Chum, advantage. It's a flat roll. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Oh, what else is he doing? He is not going to do anything else. That's the end of his turn. Fatima is silenced. With all the deepest. And she's tangled there, Pajud. So let me figure out what Fatima is going to do. Fatima. What is this spell? Excuse me, excuse me. This is what I meant about this game being slow because I need to read That's everything. Right. Read it, no okay. problem. I, we have all day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> <laughs> As in America, as in NA, we have all day. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, uh. Hello, ini Fatima gidum tan man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wala well, nta siya nangilog og slot. Ano ba? Ano ba? <laughs> it's her fault. She saw you cast the spell silence. Does it does the silence follow nor is it stay at what one point? It stays at one point, I think. Let me see. I think it stays at one point. Fatima's pretty smart. She's got a seven an intelligence of seventeen. No. So oh, big brain. So she's big brain. She's she was about to cast a spell. But as soon as she starts the incantation, she doesn't hear anything coming out from her mouth. And then she realizes that she's in silence. So she is going to move. She's not gonna go she's not gonna wanna go near Thalia and she's gonna ignore what Azavrek was doing. So she's gonna move up. So that's 10, 20, 25. Oh, that's so scary. Uh, <laughs> you know, 10. Oi, oi, touch move. She, she really said, oh, that's so scary. Touch move, oi. She's gonna move 10, <laughs> 20. <laughs> ah, no. So she's gonna go 10, 20, 15. And then she's gonna cast a spell there. She's going to cast Enlarge. <laughs> On the Leonin. Oh, on the Leonin. Oh, shit. She casts the spell, yeah. and then the you see Telram just grow. No. I feel big. <laughs> uh oh. So, okay. Concentrating. Okay. Mm-hmm. Concentrating. I didn't there. Silent is just gonna. You can speak or no, but you know you can still attack. You can still attack yeah. while in the silence. Yes. So is that her only turn? She cast a spell. Any bonus shit? This one. I need to remember these. These rolls, mm-hmm. and then any attack roll, save or check. Attack roll made against you. She still has fairy fire on. Does fairy fire stay on? Or does she make yes. a save every what the crap? I don't like fairy fire. <laughs> it just stays there. Okay. Uh very well then. She is going to She is going to look at Talia. And then her hand is going to raise up, and she's going to use a bonus action to try to shove you telekinetically. 
Okay. So, please make me a strength saving throw, Thalia. Exclamation mark save space str. Yeah. You will fail, so you will just. My rolls are shit. You just move five feet. Bonk. Ah. But yeah, that is the but end she's of. She's scared of me though. That is the mm-hmm. end of her turn. Do you guys want to plan or no more? Yeah, planning. Plan. Okay, um, one minute. I just thinking of the people concentrating should be at a distance. You know, I don't need to concentrate yeah, anymore. Right. I don't need to concentrate how do anymore. We, how can, do we? I can start hitting. Now. Enlarge a lion. Enlarge, I... Hit her, hit her, Fatima, no? Yeah, you just have to hit Fatima because she's yeah. concentrating. Mm, okay, okay. Most likely I can reach her to task range in melee. And if I hit her hard enough, she might fail, you know? Yeah. And there's two options I can go. I can either... What was that? 5, 10, speed, 20, 25, 30. No, I'm so far away. I might blind the lion. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the lion needs oh. to be dealt. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. I'm nervous, Kay. He pro- Mm-mm. Wait, it's, 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 it's my turn next. Who should I attack? The lion or Fatima? Uh, Billy. Okay. Oh, no, don't Billy. Don't Dark lion. Moon, you're oh, up. Don't as of wreck, get ready. Get ready. Oh, Let's no. Go. Dark Moon goes zoom. Zoom. On Billy. Oh, shit. Zoom. Hey there, kitty and, cat. Yeah. She's like, hi. <laughs> Slashes with her, with her right hand. All right. And dagger. A dagger. Ooh, sixteen to hit. Wow. Okay, hold on. I'm reading reactions and shit. <laughs> Aye. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That's sixteen fine. to hit. Uh, okay. Let me check his. AC that will hit you will slash Yay. him and he'll be like oh that's juicy mama what the hell this is so <laughs> <laughs> don't like oh no dark moon just dark no dark mama moon just, please dark moon's just angry so she and, and disgusted okay second so she, bonus yeah, don't bonus him with her other dagger oh no <laughs> Why you gotta hate, Mama? Spread the love, <laughs> not the hate. <laughs> oh, the Mama. This elephant is slimy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's your thing. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You do we not. Have this, I have. I have disadvantage. With your first attack on top, just roll a d20. Okay. Just roll uh, exclamation mark 1d20. This will be with your first attack. No, you hit anyways. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let me check. It. Let me double check on vis- Vicious Mockery, huh? If that's all <laughs> that happens with Vicious Mockery. Ooh, next attack roll before. Yeah, that's it. So, you good? That's the end Yay. of your turn? Yes. Great. Uh, Billy just took 10 damage. As of Rick, you're up, Sai. Get ready. Uh, I do the exact same thing as um, uh, what Talia did last, um, last round. I'll just bash, whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. just go straight. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then Beth has 60 Oof. feet. I, no, you have, she has 40 feet. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah. She can still oh, dash. I imagine a slow cat following. So she can still, <laughs> she can still yeah. dash. It and just looks tired. She, her, she's yeah, flying, but. Yeah, but you're making me do this. There you go. Uh, that's your turn. That's my turn, yeah. Sai, you're up. And move here. 
and then I hit Fatima with an Eldritch Blast. Ooh. Hey. Whoa, I perfect line of sight, Dodo. Okay. 17 to hit with advantage, Pani, or katong sa damage na ang advantage. Why, why do you have... Oh, you do! You should oh, have advantage. Roll day. again. Just roll, right. a, roll a d20. It's just one difference. Okay, 17. roll damage. Uh, but before you roll damage, Fatima will look at you as you throw an Eldritch Blast. She will say, foretold. And then she will use one of her portent, ah. and she will give you a 7 roll instead. So that's what? a... That's a oh, seven. Oh no, that class. That's a seven on plus on six test? is. What is that? Thirteen. Thirteen. In that case, she won't do it because that'll still one. hit her. Actually, <laughs> never mind. Wait, <laughs> 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 spell slot? Nope. So, how you much damage? Spell slot? Oh wait. Okay. No, 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 no. You rolled. Uh, oh yeah, just roll damage. Eight. Eight. Fatima will take 8 damage. Ugh. There you go. Look at you angrily. That's it. And then I move back. That's all. Okay. It is now the boys' turn. Uh, JJ. Janetto J. Walker. What are you doing? Malus ba na ang concentration kung mahit? Oh, I have to roll that. Sorry. Thanks for reminding me. She saves. That's right. Yay, go Chloe. She really said that's right. Yeah, did it huh? Fingers crossed. I have an idea now. Sort of, pero play you on Chloe. Uh, Janetto J. Walker will move down here. I know, he'll go 5, 10, and engage with Thalia. Okay. And he drops his short bow on the ground, so just drops it there, so he can sheathe. I, yeah. Unsheath Wait, his action. short sword. Action to nope. drop the Quran. Dropping is a free action. <laughs> and then going to unsheath the short sword to make an attack uh, on Thalia. So let's do that. One attack plus six. 17 plus 6 is 23. That hits. Three. That you will take a d6 plus 3. 5 damage. Okay. Taken. No one's dying yet, right? No one's dying yet. <laughs> no. 5 damage. And then he will step back. Oh, but why? What do you mean, but why? Oh. So opportunity of attack, no? He exactly. is he is mobile. That's his feet when he makes an attack. Oh. <laughs> when he makes he an attack, scared. he he does not provoke. He moves there. Uh, that is his turn. Telramb is. Ten feet of you. Telram is gonna move here. One, two. And then with a bonus action, he will roar. Roar! And then you guys, you guys, uh, the two of you, make a wisdom saving throw. Then I do that with advantage, right, Wayne? Because you're Vidalkin? Yeah. I think so. Do it. Lanu does not make a wisdom saving throw. Wait, the fuck? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 
Jose Crap, Talia. Save with, a, with an E. Roll, roll again. Yeah, one more. Ah, <laughs> uh, at least. Okay, both of you fail. Save? Oh fuck. You ah, are fuck. you are both frightened of, of frightened oh, of, of 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 Telram. <clears throat> of Telram. So how frightened work is you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. You cannot willingly move closer to the source of fear. So you cannot move towards Telram. And you have, okay. a, you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. But this, his ability is on, this one is only up to his next, at the end of his next turn. Okay. Ability checks, attack rolls. Yes. He is going to... Five. Okay. Wait, he's done, right? That's his bonus. That's his bonus action. He doesn't have an action yet. Ooh. So it's, uh, so he, it. what was that? It was like 5, 10, 15. He is going to swing at Azavrek with his war hammer. Can I cast shield? Oh, shit. War hammer twins. Uh, you can cast shield, yes. Reaction shield. Are you doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your AC now? Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You exclamation mark cast uh, space shield. Cast space shield. Oof. It's a bad roll. That's better. His second swing will be... His second... Wait, exclamation mark update. Update. Then try again. Cast space shield. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, you have two first level spell slots. You what use one. Level? Um, what's your what's your armor class right now? He rolled a twenty on his second hit. That will that will hit. Okay, uh, his. 19. His first swing will boom bounce against your arcane shield, but in his second swing he'll turn, it, uh, roll it back, boosh, hits you on on your other side, and you will take. That's his warhammer plus a d4 because he's enlarged, so one d8 plus one d4 plus three. That's three four plus three seven damage, so you are now at thirteen okay. damage. Okay. He's gonna step back, provoking <laughs> attack of opportunities from both of you guys, but you will make it at disadvantage if you want to. Yeah. But flat yeah, roll, yeah. cause now I'm advantage against. Oh, from the fairy fire. Good call. Good job. <laughs> Good no, job. So flat rolls. So, so, oh. How does that? I just said that you're intelligent. Don't leave. Uh, just, just regular, just regular roll. Exclamation mark! A rapier. That'll miss. Uh, we're waiting for Talia to come back, but uh, let's move that along. We'll just remember Talia's attack when she comes back. Okay, that is both their turns. Uh, Italia. and uh, make your attack, babe! Exclamation mark! A space rapier. Lano, get ready. Uh, I can attack. Pa? Yes, me. He moved away from you guys. Oof. Oh. Nice. That's right. Oof. Eleven damage. He's ready. My action is not stopping me. <laughs> there you go. So that was his bonus action. His action. He is. He's done. That's his turn. Lano, you are up. Cassandra, get ready. 
Lalu is going to move next to Cassandra and then cast uh, Ice Knife. Uh, oh, okay. I don't think uh, I like that spell, if I remember uh, correctly. Knife. I do like this. Wait, same. I don't like Ice, but ice Knife said. <laughs> you create a shard of ice oh. and fling it rage. Five feet sphere. One creature within range. Hit or miss. The shard then explodes. Target each creature within five feet of it. Must take second dexterity. So you know. Okay. Uh, who are you targeting? Uh, big big man. What am I doing? Big man. Make a range, range spell attack. That's nine to hit. That will miss. But it will explode. Advantage. Th That's adva that that does really have advantage. advantage. Roll a d20. Oh, snap. Okay. Just roll snap. a d20. Uh, is it exclamation d1 d20? Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Get it. Critic oh, 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 roll, roll another 1d10. D20. No, no, no. Just oh, roll another cool. 1d10 and also roll a separate 2d6. I don't know. No, don't roll the 2d6 anymore. Just the 1d10. Two. So, Telram takes seven damage initially as the ice shard will explode in his face. <clears throat> he will take seven damage. <laughs> it will explode and everything five feet sphere around him. He's big, so... Mm -hmm. I'll just say everyone gets hit here. That's everybody. So they have to make dexterity saving throws on a hit. Dexterity saving throw or take 2d6. Roll. Ah, uh, no. Your 2d6 is already 9. Okay. So Billy, Billy Big Ears, dex save. That's a 16 plus 4, 20. What's your DC? It's 13. He will save. Uh... Fatima. Do I have advantage on Fatima? No. This is a saving throw, so it, fairy fire doesn't affect anything. Huh. Fatima rolled a natural one, but she <laughs> will use one luck point from her lucky feet and re-roll again. What? Her lucky uh. feet? <laughs> That's a 15 plus 4. So that's a 19 she will save. So she already used... Damn. Let me let me calculate that. I, let me take note of that here. So Fatima... Um, two out of two portent. And then two out of three luck points. All right. Fatima's all about fortune and shit. She's a fortune teller. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh. Oh. What so, <laughs> Fatima will save. Up next is Janetto Jaywalker. He will roll a dexterity save, which he's pretty good at, but he rolled a 12 plus 6 is 18. No. That'll save. <laughs> Nobody else okay. takes the damage. So, oh, so, poetically, you know, Telram is just like, no, and just takes all the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, alright, Telram. There you go. Uh, is that your turn, Lano? What else are you doing? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Cool. Cassandra, you're up, Talia. Get ready. It's my turn. Um... What's that? My book, me? Wait, let me read my sheet. Sorry, this is pretty slow. Okay, I'm still waking up. Very much a slow waker. This yes, is one. No worries. Piece. 5, 10, 10, 10, 10. 5. Ah, I'm I'm gonna use my Reaper feature and pull the dead. Kwan, the elephant, and Fatima. Fuck you, hoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Wisdom save. Yes. Oh, I think that's a bad idea for Fatima, but let's do it anyway. Let's go. Okay. Billy Big Ears. Oh, you want to question my wisdom? That's a 12 plus... Eight. Plus 1. 
is a 13. That saves? That's a save. Oh, yeah, okay. Save. Fatima. Fucking, I'm rolling bad for Fatima. That's a four. Um. Hey. Um. Okay. Um. She uh, will. She uh, will roll a luck point. Uh, oh my god! She rolled so low. That's so bad. Go and update the luck points. That's one over three. She failed. Yeah. So that's one over. She failed. Yeah. She damaged already. already, right? Yeah, yeah so why it's don't one. You use one more? It's one D something. <laughs> you rolled the minimum damage. Minimum <laughs> damage is damage. Right, and right. I, um, I move. I move closer. Uh, I'm gonna move. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, third. I'm just gonna move here. I'm gonna keep it cute, and I end my turn. All right, great okay, job. Cheers. Good turn, Cassandra Salia. You are up. I will move uh, diagonally, uh, pa, pa northeast. That's five, ten, fifteen, and then move left. Huh? No. Aye, aye, sige, go. Uh, just ubus ni JJ guy. So. You you can just move straight. Is what you're doing. Yeah, just move forward. But uh, ah here. Okay, ko ani dili ko mo ko ani lion guy. Yeah, you don't want the reach. I to be yeah. engaged with him Kadiban also. Kadiban ko ka move forward towards him, de ba? So there lang. That's true. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Ani so move to diagonal. Five. Will that make sense? Ten, fifteen. When you do diagonal, you still can't move towards. JJ, I, because I? yes. What the fuck? Yeah, um, so you where yeah. you are. I don't have any range attack, unfortunately. So, uh, balik, eh, balik lang ko langa, and then I will hold my action if the JJ guy comes. Okay, that's yeah. a good. That's a good thing. Ready. Ready for JJ. Okay. <laughs> that your turn? Or or both or or either the lion and the JJ guy will attack. Uh, okay. Yes, that's my turn. Ready. That's your turn. It is now Billy Big Ears. Ooh, kitty cat. I'm gonna be like I don't like you uh, so much. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> It's so creepy, yeah. <laughs> you know why they call me Billy Big Ears? Cause I got big ears. <laughs> well, no way. No shit. You have eyes. You can see. Okay. I'm gonna take a deep to know that. Nope, he's not gonna do that yet. He. Let me see how. Yes. PM or good messenger? Huh? Messenger? messenger. Yeah. Alright, wait long. Hmm. Boy, this really big ears guy is so creepy. I know, right? I wanna <laughs> smash him in the face with my wahanar. Oh, honey, yeah. you want pedicure? <laughs> okay, this what this is what's gonna happen. Billy Big Ears is going to use a bonus action. Okay. To say bad things, bad words <laughs> on you again. Uh, oh my god! Ew. Un unsettling words. So he's gonna use a bard. So Billy Big Ears is a bard of eloquence. So that's the College of Eloquence. And then he uses. 
how bardic inspiration works is you add buffs to your allies, a 1d6 to your allies. But he has a special ability where he sub he gives unsettling words to an opponent, and then you have to make you have to subtract 1d6 from your next saving throw. So what's the d6 doing? This is what's what he's going to do. He's going to bonus action. Uh, but I don't like that you're there. <laughs> Am I too close? Hmm? No, it doesn't do anything with disadvantage or whatever. But no, I'm looking at the other thing. God damn it. God freaking damn it. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? The line, la. Okay. <laughs> Let me do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna walk around you. He's gonna be like, Look at me, kitty cat. I'm walking around you. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. He's not provoking attacks of opportunity because he's still within your range. Yes, I'm aware. Ah, okay. And while he's there, he is going to do unsettling words, and he's gonna he's gonna look at you. He's gonna be like, "I'm gonna ignore you for a little bit. I'm gonna talk to that girl." And he's gonna look at Sai, and he's oh. gonna be like, "Hey oh. there." Hey there, pretty mama. Do you wanna? Oh, you're <laughs> gonna be like. I think I think it's a good idea that you. Uh... Okay. Kim would discuss. Okay. Okay. I guess it worked. So you are you have unsettled unsettled words. Let me let me write that down. Minus minus one d six. One d six to say. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hold on. And then, that's his bonus action. His action is going to cast Bane on the three of you. Because all of you Uh. now are within 30 feet of him. So all of you make me a charisma saving throw. And Sai, you have minus 1d6 to that. So everyone everyone there, charisma saving throw. No, 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 just these three. Damn it! Oh, okay. Wow! So you no. have, you have, you have oh, no. Bane. Sai, <laughs> Sai <laughs> will have Bane. Minus, Sai, you got a uh, one, a <laughs> one on your charisma save. Ma, ma use ba na ang coverleaf ani nga situation win or minus you... one na win delete ni plus one. Don't say minus one. Plus one. Okay, I have minus. Can I plus one here? I have eighteen minus one, not plus one. Cause your charisma I is low on that. Can you exclamation mark update? Okay. Okay, Chloe, you, you can use, but at that point you already that's a one on your roll. You have what yeah. like what two clover leaves? One clover leaf. You can't change add anything. One did my add that clover leaf. No, you can mm, add as many as you like, storm. but m- the point is the DC that you need to roll is way higher than what you can do. Yeah. Okay, okay, you can okay, only okay. reach three. I, so. I... Yeah. So, <laughs> kinda, that's what he did. So let me let me do Billy Big Ears. So hey, Billy... Billy can't even see my face because I'm wearing my, my Black Panther outfit. And goggles and shit. <laughs> no, it, it's just a uh, just an area like three creatures. Choose up to three creatures. No, so but Billy... like you couldn't say all those insults to me. Why not? But uh, I mean, I mean, like because he know, doesn't he know who you are. Face. Because he already can't saw you. Anyway. All right, we met the day before. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he, Billy is. He's got a uh, two out of three. Bardic insp. Okay. And then he moved 5, 10, 15, 20. And then he's going to be like, Look, kitty cat, I'm moving around you again. 
<laughs> no back Ignore. Back. So you guys are Bane. So what Bane does is for your attack rolls and saving throws, you subtract a d4 to your rolls. So how many turns does he win? Uh, while he's concentrating. Ah, okay, okay. So it, it's, it's, yeah, it's like fairy fire. On an attack and saving throws? I believe so. I'll double check. Okay. But that is Billy Big Ears. Now, Fatima is gonna bonus action push Dark Moon away. So Dark Moon make a strength saving throw. Okay. You're the one who's near. <laughs> like, go away. You will go away. Oh, so you so move. You move five feet away. As she pushes you, and then with an action, she will frostbite you. So also make a Constitution saving throw for me, Dark Moon. As I check what frost fight frost bite does again, so the cold, the cold will never bother me anyway. You. <laughs> you you save though, so it yeah it does not bother you anyway. <laughs> action action. That is the end of that combat round. We will do one minute time. Start now. Ano sa ganito ang kotobra sa frightened love? Up to the end of One. his turn, Telram's turn. And then that would be this next turn. round. So yeah, this upcoming turn. Go Memo towards him. Okay. When his okay. turn ends, not when his turn starts. Except like, for yes, at yes. the rest. Yeah. I think Maka go dress Italia. Yeah, cause yeah. Um, yeah. Wayne does um like. Because I'm going to use Lightning Lure on, uh, what's her name, uh, Fatima. It, it, does it work diagonally? Ba? It works diagonally, diagonally, as long as you have, like, straight line of sight. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Uh, I got as, it. Yeah. as it stands now, there, there's a big guy and a little guy blocking your view. Mm-hmm. I'll move JJ to where no. I move. You'll move up? Uh, sure. <laughs> Okay. No, I was saying like I can move. Yeah. Okay. Timer's done. Dark Moon, you are up. As of record, ready. I <laughs> attack. That's right. Who do you? Who are you attacking? Elephant Man, because I hate him with a passion. Okay. Never mind. Oh. oh, with advantage, no. Elephant Man is with ad- without advantage. Because mm. Elephant Man is not fairy fired. Oh, right, right, right. That's your first attack. Mm. Second attack. Mm. You're supposed to subtract I... a d4 to that, by the way. But, okay. Yeah, so we, we know that's not going to hit. So, <laughs> never mind. Second. Uh, but, with my bonus action, I attack Fatima. That's with advantage, roll the d20. When you're rolling with advantage or disadvantage, after the weapon, space, ADV, or DIS. So a dagger, space. No, don't do that anymore because you already oh. rolled. Already, just roll a d20. So that's a 14. Mm-hmm. She... She will look at you and say foretold. And instead of rolling a 9, you will roll a 7. Plus 5 is but, a 12, and that will miss. But doesn't she have advantage, like the 12, 12 plus 5? Oh, that's a 12? I, f- I forget. Uh, in th- so that's 17. N- no, what's gonna ha- what happens is the advantage will be will be done. So she would have rolled 12, and then she will portent the 12 to become 7. Mm. You guys understand? Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. 12, yeah. Yeah. So, I hate these people. 
Should the port 10 thingy be updated? Mana. One over. So okay. she has one left. One <laughs> left for port 10 and one left for luck. Gotta make sure I get local. Beto. Alright. Wait, basta. Basta kaduhan niya sa niingon o kuan ha. For cold. Oh, yeah. She said, she said it twice, yeah. The yeah. earlier was cancelled, do you remember? Because oh. it was the same it was the same thing. Like okay. Okay. you guys remember like even like <laughs> We're good, we're good. No, it's okay, my god. We're just Are you serious? <laughs> I have this recorded. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. No, I know, I know. No, no, we're chill. Take a look at the tapes. I'm, I'm gonna stop the recording and watch it back now. <laughs> anyway, DM goes on rampage. Are you uh, Dark Moon? That's your action and bonus action. Anything else you wanna do? There are many things I want to do, but cannot. So I won't. Okay. <laughs> All right. And turn. Yeah. As of wreck, you're up. Sai, get ready. Okay, so I move two spaces up and four you, spaces to the right. You cannot move two, two spaces up. up. Right. You cannot move two spaces oh, up. Oh, Oh. Because you're moving three. towards him. You move uh, right. How many spaces can I move? Right. No, you're frightened, so you can't go towards the you thing that you're afraid either of. Either I, I can yeah. say, okay, you're 15 feet away from him. You can move to... I know that you want line of sight with Fatima. With her. You can yeah, do that area, yeah. you can do that. You can move up to That's there. That's all I want. Okay. That's what I want. How much reach is lightning and lure? Fifteen feet. That will reach her. Yeah. Uh, Ruth, right there, just like. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> God. Are you lightning luring? Lightning luring, yes. Uh, okay. Let me okay. see. Lightning That's a lure. 13, I think. Ah, strength save. Yeah, 13 to save. I do not like. I do not like. But okay, mm. we'll see. Oh, bro. She rolled a 14 on the die. But mm. she has a minus one, so it's a 13. Yay. So she's, <laughs> but she still saves, no? Because it's a 13, your DC. Yeah. What? Is that how that works? Doesn't he oh, not yeah. have advantage? Well, no. Lightning That's lure it. is, is it an attack? No, it's just a saving throw. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a saving throw, yeah. She, Wait, she reached 13. Huh? Oh, we get it. Oh, fairy flies, we get advantage, right? Not her yes. getting advantage. Yes. Mm. Yes. Oh fuck. Well, I don't know. I don't know. DM thirteen to thirteen. No. Yeah. Yeah. She wrote. She <laughs> saves it. Yeah. Can we give CL to other people? You can spend no. two two clover leaves to lower or increase someone else's point. Can I give my one CL to Azamrek? You oh, mean? No, no. I can use my own. I can use my own CL. No, you... because you need okay. two. You mean, no, you mean cool. Azavrek is gonna spend one and then Thalia is gonna spend one. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say you cannot share CL. So the only okay. people who can do this to lower, lower, what's her name? Uh, Fatima. Fatima's role is, I think, Lano and Sai. Because they're the only ones who have more than one CL right now. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take one for the team. You can oh. have my over. Okay. No, but wait, 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 wait. If I use my one and I decrease, how much would that decrease from? You 30? cannot. I just you cannot. You cannot because you need two points oh, to wow. decrease or increase someone else's role. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. So, Lano. Sure? Yeah. Okay. okay. Lano updated her oh, that's thing. So, noble. so, Lano, you do not have CL anymore. <laughs> as of wrecked, you see as you take your rapier and then, or, or your empty hand and then, pull, 
pull Fatima close, she goes, ah, and then, boosh, she looks at you. Hey. And then what happens? She takes 1d8 lightning damage. Uh, from the is that here? I'll do exclamation mark, cast lightning lure. Okay. Uh, take 1d8 if it is and she takes five damage. Yeah. So she's at 14. All right. She will look at you and she'll say, so you really did want this fight. Okay. It was a matter of circumstance, oh. really. <laughs> All right. Is that, your, is that your turn as a wreck? <laughs> Uh, I cast action surge. Oh, okay. Yes. Yay. Let's Yay. go. Action surge. Action surge. Action surge. <laughs> um, booming blade. I booming blade the bitch. Fuck. Okay, booming blade. Oh, Exclamation marks. Cast. I don't know. No. Exclamation mark. A rapier. And then we'll add booming blade damage later. A rapier. With advantage. With advantage. I'll roll a d20. Shit. 1d20. Okay. <laughs> so 19, 1d8. Uh, you're booming blade. You're still level 3, so there's no bonus damage yet, right? It's only if she moves? No. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. She is boomed. I will... That is, The blue is the boom. Uh, and she gets another 6 damage, so she's at 20. She looks bloodied. Ah. All right. Again, it's nothing personal. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Is that oh, your wait, turn? Bonus action. Wait. wait, oh. wait, wait. Bonus What's your action. bonus action? Uh, oh. uh, second wind. Uh, oh, good job. Oh, yes. He be smart. All right. Second wind. Roll your uh, dice for that. 1d10, right? Let me check. Let me check. Plus let me three. check. I don't think it's... Oh, it is. 1d10 plus 3. Go for it. You heal... 8? Eight? 8, yeah. What's the... Okay, yeah. No, no, no. It ignored the plus 3. So, uh, oh, okay, so it's do not... Plus three? Oh. Yeah, it's 8 plus 3. So, when you do plus 3, oh, don't no, have no. a space after plus no. next time. But you rolled an gotcha. 8. You rolled an 8 on the die. Plus 3, that's 11. So, you heal 11. Fuck. Max, yeah. uh, two damage. Nice. Alright, okay. is that your turn? Good job, good turn. That's my turn. Alright, yeah. Sai, Sai, you are up. <laughs> good job. Uh, hello? Yes, hello? what are you doing? I move here. And okay. then I cast Eldritch Blast to the gross elephant bud. yes 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 you can do that okay. roll okay okay and then oh. i'll roll 13. i think that'll miss already and you minus minus one d4 prana from your bane ah uh, okay <laughs> okay miss never mind what else miss. do you want to do I can't do anything else, so I go back here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I got a question. Until when? I when is Fatima supposed to roll for if she saves concentration? So I'm supposed to roll that now. She saved. Oh. She rolled a sixteen. Thanks for reminding oh me. Oh my god. Okay. Sai, is that your turn? Yes. Okay. It is now the the boys' turn. Big boy and little boy. Uh, big boy is gonna. That man and little boy. Big boy is gonna try and protect Fatima. Uh, so he's gonna move. Dark Moon, you can take an attack of opportunity with advantage. Yes, I will. He stepped on the spin. So five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. Okay. Over there. Uh oh. Can I attack him, Baba? You can attack him. Yeah, Go. Attack Do it. Of opportunity. With advantage. No. Space ADV, okay? Space ADV. After 
Uh, dami. Or, That's a 15. That'll miss. That's also minus 1d4 from your from the bane. So that'll miss. He he, he just bane. his armor will just think your dagger is just and I can't I can't bonus action. You cannot. So he, okay. he's gonna move there. At this point, Thalia, because you readied and he's there. Yes. You can do your readied action now. So roll with advantage. Hey. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. 18, 18. Let me see his AC. I think that will miss though. Uh, his AC. No. Nope. His armor will eat it. Plunk. What? Oh, that's insane. So he he goes up to Azavrek and will swing at Azavrek. Two strikes. I'll show you. And then first try. Uh, what does Ruth do today? It's a seven plus plus What's six four? is a. What does Ruth do? Twelve. The hit will miss. miss. I think. Yeah. Did you say true? What? Second. Yeah, oops, true. Second true. attack is a twelve plus six is eighteen to hit. That hits. You can shield if you want. If you... Will your shield do anything? Shield. Okay, you choose not to shield. That is 1d8 plus 3. And then he's enlarged. 1d8 plus 3. 3 plus 3 plus another 3. Six, well, 9 damage. So you're at 11 damage. That's his 2 attacks. He will... Uh... What to do, what to do, what to do. With a bonus action... Is this a bonus action? I think it isn't. Let me check, let me check, let me check. I think it's not. Nope, it ain't. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Ah, he will bonus action this other one. Okay. He will bonus action cast Sanctuary on Fatima. So F Fatima is Sanctuaried. How that works is whenever you try to attack Fatima, you must first make a wisdom saving throw. If you fail the save, you must choose a new target. So that's how Sanctuary works. Okay. Okay. So, Sanctuary. There you go. Dang, that's a lot of rings. He is concentrating on Sanctuary. Oh. Is it concentration? It is not concentration, sorry. But Fatima is... What's happening? Give me my notes. Oh, oh no. My, my browser yeah. is Seven hanging. Ring. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. It's okay. <laughs> ah, there. there we go. Dun 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 Alright. That's his action and then bonus action. He will end his turn. He will just stand there looming over as a wreck. Like, and then, meanwhile, Ruth is like, <laughs> All right, JJ. Janetto J. Walker. Uh, you're not ready anymore. But he's going to move. Jan Janetto is here. And he's going <laughs> to attack Azarek with oh, his no. short sword. He do has, doesn't have anything, so that's just a flat roll. That's a 9 plus 6 is a 15 to hit. Will you shield this one? Shield. Okay. Shield this one. <laughs> Tink! Yeah. Uh, as a wreck, surrounded by enemies, uh, 
he will cast an arcane shield and as Janetto comes from the side trying to strike him with a short sword he will block it there you go that is the end of is it is it is it is it is it no he will move away actually he will stay there to protect Fatima. <laughs> so that's the end of their turn. Lanu, you're up. Cassandra, get ready. Dude, oh, oh my god, god. dude. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... I am going to... Move. I'm going to move... Uh... Wait. One, one, two. I have 30 now. Yes. Walking speed is 30, so I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I guess I'll move 5 here. And then I'm going to use my bonus action. No, wait. You know what? I'm going to cast how to say uh, this, this, this. Healing spirit. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna cast it. Let me measure this. Right behind. Uh, what what's the name of the cat? Ruth. Ruth. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Wait. Uh, five foot cube, baby. There's... Healing spirit. Yeah, actually, can I cast it on top of Azavrak? Can I do that? Uh, let me. Does it say unoccupied space? Uh, it says, and like a space you can see within range. You call for the nature spirit to see the one of a five foot cube. You see within range. The spirit looks like a transparent beast. Right? You can cast it. On top of Azavrek. Okay. I think I, think I know this spell. It. Okay. Okay. I'm cast it on top of Azavrek. All right. It's on there. And then. What does it look like? It looks like a. Uh, it looks like a turtle. <laughs> okay. Can I make that? <laughs> there you go. A it's like a mini turtle. version of you. <laughs> the spirit of Lana is with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, over there. The blessing. It's over there, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And then. Can. What does that do? Do I heal or? Can can that uh, can, since it's within his space, can he like do a a one d six? It's gone at the start. If it starts its turn there. So oh. when Azevrek uh, starts, when Azevrek oh starts there, it's turned there <laughs> or enters the space. You okay. can cause the spirit to restore one d six hit points to that creature there. Okay. So well, you're not healing them okay, right good. now. Sigi, 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 sigi. All right, we'll do what we can. So yeah. I use my action. I use my move. I guess bonus action. I'm gonna turn into a brown bear. Ooh, ooh, yeah. brown bear. Are you concentrating on that, the turtle? No. Uh, let me see. Lanu. It is. It is concentration. Yes, but but changing into wild form yeah, yeah, doesn't I, break concentration. Yeah, I know. I know. But when you take damage later, you have to make I those have to saves. Roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get you a token. <laughs> but you are a brown bear. Put that on your label right now, and I'll change you later. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that Lana was a druid. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she, the player has been so silent this call, and I was like, mm, okay. It's going. Yeah, I, w I was waiting. I was waiting for what? the change. What CR oh, is like the CR. is the bear? Wait, what? What CR challenge rating is the bear? Uh, one. One. Because I'm circle of the moon, I can do challenge rating ones. Okay. In combat. I'ma give you a brown bear. Brown.
brown bear. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to exhaust my spell slots. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Before you transform, right? So. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Aww. Big boy. Oh my god. That's a bear right there. That's a baby boy. There. <laughs> That's the son of the bear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put your token beside Elric over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, tell everybody I'm, I'm on, on my, my way. way. <laughs> All right. All right. Love what else song. are you doing? That's it. All right. Good job. Lano, that's your turn. Cassandra, you're up. Salia, get ready. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, I move over here. Dropping your shield is a free action, yes? Yes. Okay, I drop my shield and I... Hopefully this goes well for me. Okay, I'm about to cast a level 2 inflict wounds on the Leonin. Oh. oh. Uh, hopefully it goes well, but let me see if, it, if this fucker will decide to work. So many. What? Um. What? Can you? Can you? Do you remember what spells you casted earlier? Earlier? Yeah, I already ticked it off. Can you? Twilight. Exclamation mark G. Exclam uh, like this. Exclamation mark G L R like that. G L R. And then cast your spell now, though. Okay. Uh. Okay. Inflict wounds on who are you? Who are you targeting? Leonin. To hit a seventeen, that will miss. Wait, is um, inflict wounds? It inflict wounds an attack spell? It's a melee spell attack. Yes. You have advantage on that. So, roll oh. a d twenty, because he's fairy fired. Eleven oh. plus four. No, that's mm. still gonna miss. Sad okay. day. So I'm gonna big boy. Uh, uh, he's such a big boy. Tang ina, I'm gonna buy you a later. Can you relax? <laughs> Tang ina, just let me hit your sorcerer. I'm pissed <laughs> off. Uh, I just go oh, man. here and then recollect. Uh, that's it. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. I have to take off another spell slot. Can I use? Uh, actually, one natong ko gilamit. Okay, there. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm not ready silence. This was er way earlier. All right. Cassandra's that your turn. Thalia. Yeah. You're up. Yeah, I will attack Leonin. Go for it. Advantage. Very fight lasts a long Ooh, time. What the hell? You needed that advantage. <laughs> Nice. 12 uh, uh, damage. damage. Yes, and then I will bonus action fainting attack. Oh my fucking god. Okay, now you're doing your battle master <laughs> shit. Fainting. Oh, wait. That's the, the rapier ADV, no? Wait, or... wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Fainting gives advantage to your next attack roll, right? Uh, yeah, but no need, I already have advantage. So you do not, I just, you just want to I add the D8? Yes. Okay, okay. sure. But for the triple advantage? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you add another D8, babe, just roll a 1D8 to add with your fainting. Are you doing other battle master shit? No. Okay, so that's 12 plus 6, 6, 12, 18. 6, 12, 18. Plus, eight, plus another 18, 6, 12, 18, 24, 32. 18 plus 18. It's like 36, right? Yes. Ooh. You see, th like, Cassandra wow. come, come from out of nowhere, does, doesn't inflict, inflict wounds. The Leon is like... <clears throat> Nothing, and then immediately from below, Salia, whoosh, <laughs> and then strikes with a faint, 
to fake to fake mm-hmm. her strike and then whips her rapier f- to the back, hitting him on the neck, dealing, oh. dealing eighteen damage. That? Eighteen damage, crazy. Thirteen damage total. Jesus. How is the Leonin looking? He's looking bloodied. Uh, I am. No, <sighs> it's okay. <sighs> what are you gonna action search? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not I'm saving it for Fatima. <laughs> All right, good job. Good turn. <laughs> Good turn, Talia. <laughs> Billy Big Ears. Is, uh, is Sanctuary concentration? No, it's no? not. Sanctuary is not concentration. Billy Big Ears is going to be, be here and be like, I'm, uh, I like you as a dance partner, but I think the party is moving down there. So, oh. he's going to... What's he going to do? What you going to do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Fuck. Is he gonna leave me? Cause you want the attack of want... opportunity. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Uh. He's concentrating on Bane. You guys aren't. You guys aren't the threat right now. So what he's going to do is he's gonna look at. He's gonna look at Fatima. Fatima's in trouble. He's gonna look at Janetto, and both of them are gonna look at him. And then Janetto's gonna be like, "Do it, yeah, but on who? On this guy." So Je- uh, Billy Big Ears is gonna drop Bane. So you guys aren't Baned anymore. So remove the red circles. Uh, say, come on, I remove Yay. the red circles. But he's going to focus his attention on Cassandra's armor, and then he's gonna, he's oh gonna, God, he's gonna cool. say, "Since we are here in the winter, I think I should gift you a bit more warmer clothes, and then cast heat metal on Ooh, your oh armor." Oh snap! So, Dang. so you That's are. My first damage ever. Don't worry, bro. I got you. I yeah. got you. You have heat metal on you. You see as Cassandra's armor oh. starts glowing orange, and then the air around around Cassandra is like you know distorted because of the steam. Okay. Uh, I think I'm not sure if you take damage right now, but I know every turn you do take damage. So let me check again, huh? I. Any, any creature in physical cold. contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell until the oh until the you can use your bonus action oh I hate you so much <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm gonna roll my 2d8 I'm... now I'm gonna roll my 2d8 oh my he rolled is this, is this concentration a 9 it is yep. concentration so you take your first damage, nine damage, and oh. then, uh, are you currently concentrating on anything? I don't think so. Okay. okay. Ang silent is wala na. You didn't do anything else after, right? Yeah, nothing. Okay. Okay. Cool. So that's it. That's his action to cast heat metal. He's going to um I won't take any damage. No, you won't. Oh. He's gonna No he um He's gonna fuck 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 what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the chips are down? (laughs) Uh, okay. This is what he is going to do. He's Mm -hmm. gonna unsettling words on Azavrek. He's gonna be a hey, boo man. Uh, (laughs) You're kind of looking like you're in trouble over there. And then you will get unsettled. So the katong minus thingy, where where's that note? Did it get deleted? So here, 
I'll add that here. 1d6 minus 1d6 minus 1d6 to save. Next save. Next save. That is. And he's gonna. He's just gonna go diagonally here. Oh, I'm moving here now. <laughs> That's <Hi. it. laughs> End of end of his turn. Fatima. All right, Fatima. Fatima is going to uh, telekinetically push uh, Azavrek out of the way. So Azavrek has to make a strength saving throw if you're still here, Yusuf. Strength saving throw. I think he's a busy boy. Oh. As of wreck, you see. If you don't want to punch this elephant guy. I'm here. Pero na my target is not him. You see, if I think he's busy. You. Um. <laughs> can someone? Can <laughs> someone just uh Salia? Cause you're you're a fighter. Oh yeah, yeah just roll a one d twenty for me, please. And then I'll look at his strength saving score. Strength <laughs> is a plus strength. one. So that's a nine. He will fail. And then minus one D6 bar from the elephant guy's thing. thing. So mm -hmm. he will be pushed five feet away. He'll be pushed there. What's happening? Oh, he'll be pushed there. And this can get go away. She will be pushed there. That's Fatima's bonus action. Is and Ruth just going to stay there? Dili pa Ah, uh, uh, okay. I'm reading this. You are a creature. You can see. Okay, this is what's going to happen. After Fatima pushes as a wreck there, Fat is, Fatima is going to step on the turtle. And she will take healing. So Lanu, no. please heal. No. I can cause it to to give someone. Until it's the spell. Sorry, guys. It's super oh. sorry. What did I miss? Oh, good. You got pushed. Uh, telekinetically. Uh, did I? Did you move? Did you do the booming blade thing for me? Or? Uh. Betao. Uh, Betao move si Fatima. That's true. I'll, I'll roll damage for me. Oh, no, I was supposed to cast it again. No, no, no. It's not your turn yet. Oh, oh, oh okay. So, okay. I was already my turn. This is what happened. <laughs> okay, this is what, this is what happened. Fatima, uh, you were here, right? On the turtle. Fatima pushed you mm. with a bonus action. And then she Ooh, okay. she's going to move on the turtle. As she moves, she will take the booming blade damage. That's 1d8. I think, or is it 2d8? Wait up. Just 1d8, yeah. Roll a 1d8 for me. Exclamation mark. No space, right? No right, space. Right. <laughs> three, she takes three, three damage. damage. Okay, let me let me do that real quick. So she's at 23 damage. <clears throat> and then, Lanu, let's figure out your healing spirit situation. It says... I'm going to copy-paste it. Until the spell ends, whenever you or a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time on the start, you can cause the spirit to return. Yeah, ah. I can cause. Ah. I have control. So you can choose <laughs> not to. Okay. <laughs> In that case, uh, she's just stepping there so that no one else heals. But, you know... She that's her bonus action and movement. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. She Hey, when did you cast heat metal on me, IRL? I'm sweating like a bitch right now. <laughs> 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 <They> manifest. <laughs> manifest. 
Oh boy. <laughs> okay, this is what's gonna happen. She steps forward, expecting to heal from the turtle, but then you it doesn't work, so she looks at the bear, she gets angry. She looks back at, at Azivrek and says, So you like electricity, huh? I'll show you electricity. Oh. And then she gets her hand, uh just like with her finger pokes your chest and does a shocking grasp. Oh my god. You so piece of... <laughs> <laughs> So here we go. Shocking grasp is make a melee spell attack. Yeah. Uh you have advantage if the attack is if the target is wearing armor made of metal. You're not wearing wearing metal, you're wearing leather. Leather. Mm. Natural 20 critical. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. shit. <laughs> You're so happy. <laughs> two, two That's an 8 plus 3 is a 11. Oh, is it, does it add anything else? 11 damage to is you as a wreck, so that's 22 damage. How are you looking? You look good? Oh, really? You want to ask me if I'm looking good? <laughs> you are... I'm like kneeling down, like one, one, one leg's on the ground, and I'm like, right, right. and like Ruth's like licking my wounds and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my she... Have you used your healing potion? I don't have a healing potion. Oh he used it last God. time. I used it. So she pokes your chest, you get... She is in energy. You drop to one knee, and then she will say, "Your magic is no match for mine." And then she will step. Oh. She will step back without worrying about opportunity of attack because you cannot do that with shocking grasp. But Ruth can. Oh, uh, but Ruth can. <laughs> Ruth is gonna try to swipe. <laughs> you want Ruth? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, at this point, uh, Woosley over here is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheering. Oh no! <laughs> All right, uh, that is Fatima's turn. She did a bonus action and then an action. That is her turn. End of the round. One minute to plan. Go. Y'all get this fucking heat help. metal off my bed. Yeah. I'm gonna send help. I'm gonna try to move. I'm going to. Sorry. I'm going to move heal you. Here. I'm going to heal you. Don't worry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yay! I'm coming. Thank you. Yeah, I need to... Ruth also out of the way. Are you able to move to the portal? Uh, I could, so but then I provoke a back of opportunity. What? No, I would wouldn't. No, no, you wouldn't. No. Yeah, he okay. only has a power then, he can heal. Ah, uh, no, but I can't get closer to him. Uh, oh. No, no. Ah. We're not frightened. Oh, we're not frightened? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna step on the thing. Step onto the turtle later. Yeah, move along, Sirius. Like, at your back. So, right. Yeah, puede. Sige, sige. Alright, five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I told you guys this was gonna be legit. Alright, Dark Moon, you're up as a wreck. Get ready. I move here. So, not so. provoking. Not provoking. An attack of opportunity. Okay. Because, you know, he didn't leave me, so I didn't leave him. Okay. And. Oh. <laughs> that's an action, no? It's an action to move. No, it's just movement. Okay, so I still have my you can... attack. No, I have advantage. I'm gonna try to on flash. Fatima. Before Fatima. that, yes. you have to make a wisdom saving throw because she has sanctuary on her. Wait, wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think wala na siya because she cast a spell. Let me check. Huh? Sanctuary yeah, ends if the warrior dead creature makes an attack, cast a spell that affects an enemy. That's it. Uh, there you go. Hey. So. Hey. That was her Die. mistake. That was her mistake to attack as a wreck. Now she will pay the price. That's right. Oh, for someone with 17 intelligence, she didn't think of it through. 
She is aggravated. You guys, you guys are making this harder than it needs to be. So she's pissed. Okay, roll your attack, Dark Moon, with advantage. Yeah. You. Yeah. You can kill her. Twenty four. <laughs> yeah. Bonus action. Oh my god, I love you so much, guys. Make it plus me. Twenty eight. With, with, with advantage again. With advantage, yes. <gasps> yeah, boy. Oh. Mm. That was it, though. Mm. 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 That has to hit. Come on now. Mm. Don't play something about. Yeah. She will <laughs> take the first strike as she turns around from Azarek. She will take the first strike in her stomach. Ah, <laughs> you. And then as you take you swing with your second swing, she will say no foretold. I hate okay. you so much. And then you, <laughs> she will use her last portent for that swing. She is on the edge of her life, but yes. uh you see Dark Moon looming over Fatima, Fatima bleeding out. And there you go. Good turn. Good um, job. That's a bitch for me. Hey. Is that concentration? Right. Good job. Wee. Thank you for reminding me again. She fucking. Oh my god. No, 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 no. She will use luck. She no, she won't. Oh. <laughs> let's, let's, let's no, let's Let her use it. She has no I'm more. Lucky. Oh my god. This is always caught. Why is. Why are you teasing me? It's teasing me. Wait, wait, wait. We're so young, boy. We ain't got nothing to do. Yes. Ooh. Wasted. That's it. Bye bye. Left. Baby. Zero she, luck points. She fails her saving uh, throw. Right. She even she yeah, used perfect. all her luck points. Her. What spell was it that she she used? Enlarge. Enlarge. You oh, see, okay. Telram, being like, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> there. there you go. Finally. <laughs> All yes. right. Good job. That is Dark Moon's turn. Is that your e the end? What the hell? Let me see. Can I do anything else? Action bonus <laughs> action. You're supposed to add sneak attack damage. Yeah. Oh, no, sneak attack. Attack. There's no one beside her. No, no. You had, you had advantage. Sneak attack box with advantage at the. Exclamation mark A space sneak. Do it, do can it. I can do it now. Do, do it. it now, do it Come now. On, damage. She's gonna die. Come on, do it. <laughs> Come on, do it. Eight damage. Alright. Is it the straw that breaks the back? So the Dark Moon. Tell me how, tell me how you knock hey, Fatima hey, unconscious. Hey, so back when I was here, I learned to ignore <laughs> the elephant man. And I was like, bitch, I'm not the elephant you. in the room. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then I faced, and then I faced Fatima. Okay. And with my right hand, I stab her in the stomach. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, and although she, although she blocks my second attack, with my right hand holding the knife still at her stomach, I twist it. And then I pull my knife back out, and she's bleeding everywhere. Like... <laughs> She falls to her knees, knees. There's blood everywhere. Um, and then, and then onto her side, and her eyes will close. There you go. Nerd. There's blood everywhere. Nerd. All Nerd right. Down. Immediately, like one of no. these guards will will go through the barrier and then go the go body. to her to stabilize her. But there, he's not gonna interfere with the fight. But he just has like a med kit, and then you know, is. Uh, making sure she stabilizes. All right, that's your okay. turn, Dark Moon. No, no, no. Okay. Wait, but before, before that, oh. I look, I look at we, at Woosley and I say, "Sorry, Woosley. 
Oh. Woosley has like these these like puppy dog eyes right now. He's very oh, no. worried. He's like pacing along the rope here like that. Oh, no. No hard feelings, baby boy. <laughs> there you go. Is that your turn? Yes, sir. Good job. As of wreck, you're up. Sai, get ready. Uh, dang, okay, now she's I'm out. Scared of the turtle. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I go, I go inside the uh, turtle, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I move to the turtle. Heal. By 1d6. Oh, okay, you don't need D6. healing anymore? Nice. Uh, Lanu rolls, rolls the 1d6, I think. Oh, actually. Oh, okay. 1d6. Is this the right? Yes, it is. Let me you got see. Me. You got me. Oh, no. Middle. <laughs> the spirit can uh, heal that's, that's a number of times to one plus your spellcasting modifier. So four times? Um, four times? No, no, no. I do that. Healing. Four times. The spirit can heal a number of times equal to spellcasting modifier. After healing that number of times, the spirit disappears. Uh, you can cause the spirit to record when there is no action required number of times. I'll say that once per turn, but a total of four times. Okay, Lano? Okay. So four turns. Yeah. Sounds Gucci. So it is now at like three over four healing. What's the spellcasting ability mod? Where do I find that? I oh, think for it's druids it's like, wisdom. Is three? Yes. So one plus three it's is four. Three, so. so it's four, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because like plus one yeah. plus three yeah. is is, is yeah. four. <laughs> so if Magnus. if I if, if I move the other no, one here to there, all right. Okay. Uh, as a wreck, you did you heal already? As a wreck, let me see. Four. So you're uh, at 18? Four. So that's uh, 18. Okay. Okay. And uh, I go for Lion Guy. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Before I do, uh, for my free action, could I um, switch out my rapier for my short sword? This one. I will say wait, that wait, you wait. don't switch wait. them. You, you can free action to drop your rapier. And then object interaction is to unsheathe your short sword. But that's not an action, right? That whole interaction is free, but your rapier is on the ground. Okay, that's fine. I'll okay. leave it on the ground. Okay. Um, Can I leave it beside Ruth then? Leave the weapon. <laughs> sure. Leather. Ruth then, is uh, just like... Yeah, like... <laughs> Kitty will take care of it. Yeah. Uh, she knows what to do. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I, attack, I attack with the uh, short sword. Okay. Lion guy. Lion guy. You have advantage on this. Roll oh, a... Wait, no. Just roll a d20. Not, yeah. Actually, okay. just roll yeah, again because yeah. I my damage. Pa. 9 plus... I don't think... 9 plus 4 is a... That will miss. Yeah, okay, so nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, That's do it. you have a bonus action, pa? Your second... Oh, shit, did I just... Oh, no, I fucked up. What? Okay, yeah, I can't do... No, because I... Is it... Could I do the action again? <laughs> I wanted the booming blade in, but that would have missed either way. That would have missed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. That's your turn? That's it, that's it. All right, Sai, yeah. Sai, you are up. Let's go. Here. Good Okay. Beside the bear. Mm -hmm. The bear's like, bear. Oh. Oh, shit. What's up, Pokemon? <laughs> bear, bear. <laughs> I cast Aldrich Pass to the lion. With advantage? Yes. Erdurich Okay. Oh, nope. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. Damage. 16 oh, that'll miss, unfortunately. Aww. His armor is... He's beefed up 18. with armor. 
Nope, I'm not telling you. Uh, <laughs> I can't do anything else. Oh, I end my turn. All okay. right, it is the boys' turn. Janetta will be. Janetta. Huh? Oh, you pet Lano. Lano? Bear. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Janetta was annoyed at Azvrek for ignoring Lego. Like, oh, why you go after the big guy? You don't think I'm the threat? <laughs> and then he's gonna try to shank you in the back. <laughs> Not the shank. Oh, okay. Shank. Is he a rogue? <laughs> he is a rogue, so... Um, Sneak attack. If it hits, we'll see. I've been trying to hit you this Fingers whole spot. time, but... Natural 20! Critical! No. Oh, oh my god, dead. Shit. So Why that is. So wait, I need to get 6d6 for the sneak attack. Oh, oh, oh. 6d6. And then another 1d6 for the piercing damage. So that is. Oh, yeah. 7d6? Really Oh, yeah, I could roll all ones. So we'll see. You hear that? You hear that, Yusuf? <laughs> no, no, I'm muting. I'm muting everything. <laughs> all right, here we go. I rolled. I actually rolled a lot of ones. I rolled three ones, so that's three. Uh, plus. That doesn't even matter. Eight. <laughs> three plus eight is eleven. Plus six. Is 17 damage going yeah. up to a total of 20. Oh no. 25? 20. I'm just one. I'm out. out. Are you out? Oh, Are you out? Oh, oh. You're out. Oh. I'm out. I'm out. I crumpled to the going one. Down. No, down. Hey, and Ruth just doesn't care. She's just, just, she's just like on top of me, like. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth is like, rah, 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 sits on your face. <laughs> the, the the guard is like, oh oh, and goes over to you as well. And it's kind of like but... moving Ruth around. <laughs> it's like, rah, and Ruth is like, rah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, so the, the turtle spirit has a shocked Pikachu <gasps> face. Oh. Uh, yeah. yeah, I yeah. think the turtle will wake him up next turn, if ever. Will it? <laughs> Maybe. That's so fucked up. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're, okay, I just we'll, make him and I forced, I'm forced <laughs> to wake up. <laughs> Alright, and then the rogue is going to... Um, move, so that was five. He's gonna go... 10, 15, 25. Uh, a little bit more. 30. A little bit more. <laughs> there you go. All right. Hey. All right. He'd be like, How are you? I mean, it's not too bad. <laughs> How are you? So, <laughs> 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 uh, hey. tell Ram is gonna move here and then technically he's also engaged with cassandra because cassandra has ridiculous reach but hey. tell ram is gonna <laughs> take <laughs> tell ram is going to sanctuary's gone <laughs> fuck Telram is going to bonus action roar again at both of you this time. Roar! Both of you make mm -hmm. wisdom saving throws. What's the roar, Wayne? Is that like a racial the thing? Or? It's a racial thing. Damn, my illness. Oh, both of you are not scared at all. He's... He's that's small. right, bitch. We've had enough. Yeah, he's because he's small. Because he's small again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then and then, just and then he's uh, he's just like I mean like I understand there's not as big effect because I'm you know my regular size. <laughs> so I understand. 
I'd be like, oh, how cute. Yeah, you don't think this is gonna be cute. I'm gonna swing two Warhammer strikes at you. First is a 10 plus 6 to hit. That'll miss, I think. What's your AC? It will miss. Second attack is a 15 plus 6, so that's a 22. That will hit. Okay. So 1d8 plus 3. No more bonuses from enlarge. That's a four seven. Seven damage to Talia, so you bring that up you to twelve. That is the end of Telram's turn. Lanu, you are up, Cassandra, get ready. Okay. Lanu Brown Bear is going to run towards do do the lion. Um okay. I'm gonna just wear, I'm gonna do a multi attack because the brown bears can do that. That's, so, that's right. Okay. Bite and claw. Yes. How to how to do um, melee weapon attack again? Exclamation. I think you have to roll the like just d twenties and add the modifier. Okay. Yeah. One. Add the modifier of their stats or yeah. D twenty plus something. What they have. Or six. No space. Oh, that will barely miss. Barely miss. Oh. Uh, and, and there's still the second one. Uh, oh, these have advantage, by the way. Oh, shoot. So okay, roll. Okay, 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 okay. So for oh, the first strike, roll again, again plus, plus D6. Same one, D20 plus 6. Yeah, just copy paste that. 26. Oh, first, okay. Ooh, that one. First will Yay. hit. You have a second, a second multi attack, right? Yeah. Roll with uh, advantage still. Okay, 1d20. One 1d20 one plus uh, 6, and then I ADD, right? Uh, I think it doesn't work with I Dice know. Parser. You can try our 1d20 okay, plus... I just did that twice. Yeah, yeah 1d20 plus 6. Then. 11, second, 18, miss. Oh, only the first attack hits. Ooh. Okay, well, that's fine. And then the hit is 1d8 plus 4. Oh. Ooh, ah, 1d8. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> please, please, please. Nine five. damage. And nine. <laughs> oh, so ooh. that brings him up to 45, right? Yeah. She looks really hurt. Very, very, very hurt. Ooh. The bear chomp. Chomps on him. <laughs> there you go. The the tell Ram will look at Sir Lanu, is that you? Bear, bear, bear. bear. <laughs> bear. <laughs> is that your turn, Lanu? Um I'm going wait, let me see. I want to move the spirit as a bonus action on top of Talia. Oh, okay. Hey. Bonus action, Talia. There you go. She gets that when she... There. In two turns. Yeah, in, in her turn. Um, cool. And... And turn. Done. Cassandra, you're up. Talia, get ready. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna do inflict. I'm gonna try the dice. Okay, with eight, advantage, eight, eight. okay. Yes, I'll roll dice. I'm gonna try it plus 4. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it I'm gonna go back. Oh, that's my 30 feet. Oh, shit. Well. Let's see. What am I? Bonus? Can you do bonus stuff? Yeah let, me, yeah, let me check. What is my bonus? Oh! Shield of Faith. Sure. Um, you cannot because Inflict Wounds is a leveled spell. Oh, true. Well, yeah. I'm not. Wait, let me untick that. Let me just. I just strike a post and peace sign and I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Alright. Yes. All right. Great. Making a peace sign. That's your turn? <laughs> yeah. Thalia, you are up. I will attack the Leonin with advantage. Yes, go for it. Uh, before that, you can heal. Oh, yeah. So Lano will heal you. 
No one's attacking Janet. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we all pretend he's not there. <laughs> he's too small for me to see, you know? Line of sight? <laughs> but how? Kui kasad. You rolled double you ones, babe. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. no. Okay, that's her. Um, so that's... That's one, and then I will. Can I bonus attack? I know. I don't know. I will. Action surge. Action surge. Action surge. Yes. Go for it. Can I take a book fight? Mm, oh, yeah. yeah, but this time it's a JJ. Is that okay, JJ guy? Finally, yeah. Janet is without annoyed. advantage to JJ though. Unless you're fainting. I okay. I will fainting. Fainting. No, because the fainting will only work if I hit a hong attack. Let let me see fainting again. Fainting, fainting. Maneuvers. Like if you hit. Oh, did you even choose fainting? I did. Trip attack. What? Oh, there. I. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah. To add total damage. You can expend one super attack. Use a bonus on your turn to add the total damage to gain, and to gain advantage on your next attack roll. No, you can, you can bonus action fainting, and then your act attack when you do action surge will have advantage. Okay. Yes. Can I? Can my attack be trip attack also? Yes. Or will yeah. that go? On? Okay, go. You can declare trip attack after it hits. So f that's why it's confusing. Because fainting, you can declare before you attack. And then trip attack is you declare after you hit. Joel? What Joel? Hi, sorry. A space rapier ADV 22. That will hit! Yay! And then Yay. trip, I will, uh, that is a trip attack. Yes. That is also fainting, so you add two d eight, yes. Yes, and then the JJ guy needs to make a strength saving. Okay. <laughs> two d eight, love no. Two d eight. He rolled a nineteen minus one, is an eighteen. Oh, oh that's far. Yeah, he saves. But he will take eleven no, plus no, six. Eight. 17 damage, damage. Damage. Yes. 17 damage. He saves so he does not be, get knocked be, prone, get yes? Prone, yes. Yeah. All right. That's your turn? Yes. And oh. then Olara. Oh, were you going to spite anyone? All right. Uh, Billy. Billy's going to be like... Uh, wait, let me check heat metal. Is it heat, is heat metal on his turn or on heat Cassandra's metal turn? Is... Bonus action, same turn. Okay, he will do that. So he will look at uh, uh, Cassandra and be like, burn, baby, burn. Uh, so 2d8. <laughs> Sorry. 2d8. Mm. Ooh. Eight eight damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, 17. five, six, seven, eight. Hiya. Guapa tantering the peta. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What else can Billy do? That's his bonus action. Bonus action, bonus action. So his action. He's just gonna he's like sick of like talking and stuff, so he's like you like daggers? I'll show you my dagger and stab Dark Moon in the back. Whoa. Um, pause. Excuse me. Why? Why? That's so thorough. <laughs> He's creepy, okay? So 7 plus 4 is an 11. That will miss. Fuck. He's like, damn. <laughs> damn, well. I guess I'll just die. <laughs> I guess I'll just die. <laughs> Fatima is down. That's the end of the round. All right. Good job. Uh, one minute to plan if you guys still need to. There you go. 
I'm just gonna heal myself, that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. I can't move, so I'm gonna have to finish... Um, to fin to finish the, up the, the elephant off. The, the creepy elephant, to, just so you know. Yeah, I have to. Alright. Hi there, oh my god. <laughs> She's so silent, I completely forgot. Uh, wait, can I use Ruth, by the way? Can I... Is Ruth still, like, usable? You can, yes. To give advantage? Uh, to help bro, other people, messenger. yes. Check messenger, please. Uh, okay. It still throws me I'll off. I'll send Ruth the card, the dark one. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was not intentional. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take a break. <laughs> let's take a break. Let's take a break, cause we need to. Uh, my sister needs to bring the dogs down. <laughs> I need to pick up oh, okay. So, I water break, everybody. Break. Go and die. Beam. I need to take a potty break myself. Okay, yes, go. Go, guys. Are you guys doing okay? Is it fine? Yes. Fine? Yes. yes. My character is not doing okay, but... but yeah, yeah. Uh, same here. But okay, just go. Do I have time to get some food? Go get food. Yay, okay, I'm hungry. Go get food. Hunger. You know, like before this fight, I was really, really trying to prep against mages. I was like, can Same. I do anything? I was like, I'm like a very quiet, but like, can I do anything to up my AC or any immunity from spells? <laughs> no, I fucked up. Like, I shouldn't have used the last shield. I should have just taken the short sword and then, like, absorb elements with um when she did shocking grasp. Oxy. Yeah, yeah, that could be. <laughs> yeah, that, that could have. Thick, thick. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. Funny, but you guys, okay. I expected, nga, like, the this fight will be mainly like, si Fatima ang kanang main fighter sa pikas niya. Ikaw sa mga. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my my initial goal was like, yeah, whatever Azabrek does, I will I will go with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happened. I mean, it worked out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did I miss? I just said it worked out. I don't even know the context. I was like, yeah, it worked out. <laughs> no, the the kind of the partner, but the partnership between Talia and Azabrek. I really wanted just to follow, make sure nga in case for anything her, happens. Her. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think, like, I was expecting her to be this, like, Jean Grey, overpowered, like, you know, like, telekinetic, you know, like, but then it turns out she's just inexperienced. She has the the spells, but, uh, yeah, I guess nah, she's not there yet. Yeah. It helps that everyone's ganging up on her, too. I mean, <laughs> fairy but, fire and all that. All that. Yeah. yeah, Wayne just rolls so bad with her. Yeah, yeah, I was, the, the whole yeah. lightning lure thing was it, just for her, just, okay, like, no, my strength's low. Yeah. We bombarded Fatima, and she's the most inexperienced one. <laughs> <laughs> she was not the threat. Literally everyone else. <laughs> she was not the threat, but we were petty. <laughs> she was just, she, here's the problem here. <laughs> if a party is petty, we don't care. <laughs> True. <laughs> she was not, the, the, the whole time, factor. she was just trying to defend herself. <laughs> Yeah, because she was <laughs> She was She wasn't being offensive at all. She was just protecting herself. Yeah, she was just bossing everyone, Deva. <laughs> yeah. She she took everyone off. She was like, Yeah, well she shouldn't have been annoying in the first place. Uh huh, where was she where was where was that energy where she was shaking the fucking pew? But oh <laughs> yeah, when she won up me, when we when we saw her, sa katong first clue or whatever. Uy ka ayo yo. Aliyah. Yeah, yeah, putot de kito. Ah, ah, okay, one. <laughs> <laughs> she just lucky I didn't. Hmm, I'm saving one feature for someone else, but I've been missing. And I'm dying, so I need to prioritize myself. Sad. That's true. Mm, yeah. Uh, well, the Leon is about to die, so. Nah, I'm fine. I'm a healer. I'm a walking ward. 
I'll just leave it on Talia. Oh, really oh. looking forward to death so I can lock can I elephant guy though. <laughs> Your your shift of your shift of hatred really switched today. Today, <laughs> like yeah, same okay. here. Well, I'm not good to fight them. I'm like, what are you doing? You're like protecting yourself the entire time. I can't do it. Legit, so hot in here. What the fuck? <laughs> Heat metal. Heat metal. I'm wearing. Liden? God, I completely forgot that there's a bear. I keep forgetting. Kilano is so silent. Bear. Lano, bear, bear. Lano, she's probably still eating something or... No, I'm here. Oh, oh you're there. Oh, but are you eating though? No. Why not? I finished. I, I oh. inhaled what? the food. <laughs> Done. What? Are you actually a bear? I am a bear. Roar! There's a tough I I went downstairs and my, my, my family was like, oh my god! And then I ate like all the food. And I came back to <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Man, you look more uh, bear than I am. I'm, I'm, I really like this party that I make, the four of them. I really like them. <laughs> We don't like them. Uh, we, don't we don't like, like them. Are you in? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I really, really like them. It's B forever. They're balanced. I think their party is very balanced. It's yeah, just... they're very balanced. Yeah. I think I. I, like I think I'm not playing them as optimally because I'm so confused, like jumping from one character to another. Because there's one. Yeah. I keep. Yeah. I keep forgetting that. See, Tel Ram has like a reaction that he can do that would impose disadvantage on people attacking his allies, and I keep forgetting it. And then okay. I forgot that uh, Fatima had advantage against spell saving throws, so it might have been possible that Fairy Fire didn't even affect her, or, yeah. or oh, no. so those other the things. I, I I kept I forgot a lot of things because. It was it was hard to manage like for for yeah. shifts, but that could have completely changed the outcome. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Like yeah. I think in role play wise, it it can also make sense because they're not that like veteran level yet, so they're still kind of like figuring out their groove with one another. So it also makes sense if the characters are forgetting their own abilities. Yeah. 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 So. Oh my God! I will love it if Fatima wakes up after this fight and throws a bitch fit. I can't. I can't wait for the RP after. <laughs> yeah. Same I'm here. looking forward to that too. So cool. There's meat between me and the elephant guy, forever. <laughs> elephant. <guy. laughs> wait, what the fuck, dude? Bro, I like. Why is that elephant like, guy like that? I didn't. I didn't intend him to be like that. I just role play the character and shit just comes out of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> I, he was supposed. He's just like, hey, No, but. <laughs> the intention wasn't supposed to be creepy, but it ended up being that way. The intention was he was supposed to be like this, like, jazzy guy who likes. Jazzy guy, yeah. yeah who, like, yeah. you know. Well, who... You got the underground vibe. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like. Sounds like a bit of yeah. to me. <laughs> oh no. I'm no, so like a, like oh, a man. I'm so sorry. That's that right, that man. was not my intention at all. Like I wanted him to sound like <laughs> You know what, Wayne? You know that's that's very good Kate made us go and it made us be yeah. not like him. <laughs> we were we were so pressed. That's a good sign. Yeah. Man. He was supposed to be well, like a like a, a guy who likes jazz and like who just hey <laughs> <It's> like, uh... <laughs> come on man come on man you know that i think that like that, i can't that, hear that anymore that, Fuck. no that uh that like in goofy movie 2 where max is like hanging out with these people who are doing like uh What's that? A spoken um, spoken word poetry, and, was, and then they're like, snap, snap, yeah. 
Oh, He's supposed well, to be yeah. like one of them. Coffee Prince. What were you saying, Chloe? Uh, sorry, Chloe. Uh, mas cooler to ang nasa goofy movie. Sa goofy movie, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're supposed to be like that. Yeah. So. yeah. But you know, the guy, if heavy hitter lang yun siya, I think I would have gone to him instead of, you know, flock in this area. Yeah, yeah. These are like the, like the, the martial people. people. Yeah, because the hate is, is towards him, Jude. It's just we're playing smart because these two are the heavy hitters. Right, right. Just hate heat metal. Just go lord. That was like a last resort that I put on Billy Big Ears because Billy Big Ears was supposed to focus on being more like a debuffing character. He was supposed to like focus on Bane, on you guys, and oh. like do the unsettling words and vicious mockery, those things. But yeah, and everyone was like, let's ignore him. <laughs> yeah, but since you know shit hit the fan and Fatima got knocked out, uh, that's why he's using heat metal, which is kind of like an unethical spell, because <laughs> it's very, yeah. it's very, it's very. It's very it's, very, it's kind of evil. I have beef with him forever. I don't care if he apologizes, if he begs, if he goes on his knees. I don't I care. Don't <laughs> I'm going to break his knees if he comes within my pilakong range. Ten I, feet? Ten, ten, ten feet radius. <laughs> Your range is so bonkers. It's going to get longer if, if I get a hand on a glaive. <laughs> Dang. Man. Ano, taas nagkasway din na pita. Uh, I hope you guys are having fun so far. It's not too slow combat. Yeah, man, don't worry. No, it's no, good, it's good, it's okay. good. Don't worry, about it's pretty it. much okay. okay. This is gonna be a little bit. It's we're kind of extending a bit, but I hope it's okay because it's the uh, the last it's session the of the of chapter. The... Yeah. No, we were we were on finale this. <laughs> yeah, we knew because because last last session you were like it's gonna take longer. Okay, I'm gonna be matching for him. Like yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, great. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I know the uh, yeah. Multiple PCs. I guess. Sound check in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's back. Oh yeah. We ready? We ready? We're ready. We are. Okay. Dark Moon, you're up. As of wreck, get ready. All right. So, I'm dead. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Ruth, Ruth, Ruth is with um, Dark Moon, though. Dark I Moon? send Ruth to Dark Moon. Uh, it's not your turn. It's not her turn yet. Oh, later, pa. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Dark Moon, you can go. Okay, so I dodged the elephant's uh, dagger. Yes. Because, you know, from all the adrenaline from murdering... Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, my attention's on him again, unfortunately. So, I attack him. Go for it. With mm. my dagger. No advantage. Yeah. No sneak attack as well. 15 to hit. To hit. We'll hit him. Damage yeah. is 6. 6 damage. Yeah. Second strike, then, bonus action. Yeah. Two <laughs> weapon fighting. Oh! 20 That's damage. It. And oh, oh, that hurts. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm re I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah. I let him roll one save. He's concentrating on heat metal. Get this. Oh, out good me. job. Yes, thanks for catching yeah. that. He rolled the yeah. four. I said, I'm not thank you, Lord. But I'm He's no I'm longer going. concentrating. Your heat metal is gone. All right, your armor will begin to cool. What else, Dark Moon? Are you I moving? I will. You can not cunning. Move. You can cunning action disengage and move somewhere else if you want. He won't attack me. With I your. I don't care. I have, I have two damage. 
Mm-hmm. No, when you cunning action disengage, disengage means they can't no do attack of opportunity you. on you. All right. So you can move. So I do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Gank. Approach the, the Leon and Gank tell Ram. All right. That's your turn. Yeah, yeah. Ruth, what is Ruth doing as a wreck? Uh, uh, instead of. Yeah, because that's not going to help um, Dark Moon now. So just uh, go to Talia. Okay. Ruth goes to Talia. So, you, so what happens is Ruth can go up to an enemy that Talia is attacking. And you can say Ruth okay. is going to do the help action on Talia's attack. Mm. Uh, or oh, so Ruth can help everybody. No, only one person's attack. So attack. Okay. I think gotcha. it, it would be smarter because... You know that uh, Telram is fairy fired, so Talia already has advantage mm-hmm. on him. So maybe it might be mm-hmm. smarter to do the help with this encounter situation, Talia versus the the gnome. Okay. So there yeah. you go. Okay. That's so Ruth comes one. in and like bite bites the gnome on the ear. Nah. Oh, you think you're good, Wood Elf? Ah! And then Ruth is just like, grr, 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 flies away. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> and so Thalia has advantage on uh, the Deep Gnome later, okay? That is Ruth's turn. Sai, you are up. I cast Eldritch Blast on the elephant. Okay. okay. Finish. No advantage. No. 13 will miss, unfortunately. Do you still have clover leaves? Yes, please. Do you want to spend clover leaves? Sure. You spend one? Yes. yes okay, yes, 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 that yes, is yes. his AC. 14 will hit. Roll damage. Okay. Il- oh my god. That is... Sai, describe to me how you knock out the knock out how the... Billy Big Ears. I just uh-huh. killed the elephant. Thank you. <laughs> nice. He was creeping on okay. you as you should. Oh, I hated the, the way the elephant talked throughout the whole <laughs> okay. and a fight. So with all my anger towards him, I twirl and cast a uh, eldritch blast in my hand mm-hmm. with sparkles and then shoot it to the elephant and say i hate you cool oh, hey. Yay. she's so pretty when she does things no then, <laughs> yeah, yeah with uh, sparkles there you go uh, good, good job si. everyone here. that's good your job. turn Yay. Yay. all right and you can, you can move here. if you want to move wait. okay yeah I have the, 10 the to 15. I'm just here. I'm just here. Understaffed. Understaffed. It's okay. I'll help after this. I'm done. Alright, good job, Sai. It is now the boys' turn. The boys mm-hmm. are going to look at each other and Jen and I was like, It's not looking good. Too, too, it's not looking too good, Tell Ram. Oh, yes, but we are going to going out fighting. And uh, <laughs> Gen- 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 Genetto is just going to roll his eyes. Ah, you and your freaking <laughs> 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 Bicker- <laughs> Bicker- <laughs> No, not yet. He's still within range. Not yet? Yeah. Oh, he's still with all right. Right? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna... Gonna take a swing at Thalia. Uh, let's see if this hits Thalia's ridiculous AC. Ooh, that's a 17 plus 6, 20, 23. Oh, All right. Damage that has sneak attack because Telram is right there. So that is 4d6. Ay, is it? Let me check. Sneak attack that is dude. 3d6. Yes. 4d6 damage from my other things. So this is 
Oh, jeez. Okay, 5, 7, 8, 9, 13, plus 3 is... 16 damage to Salia. Okay, that's a total of... 27. I am still fucking standing. Oh, bitch. shit! That is right. The, uh, Janetto is gonna sidestep. Stab you in the side. <laughs> Talia, you stagger a bit, but you just look at Janetto deep in, into, in, into his eyes and just stare at him. Still full of vigor. There you go. <laughs> that is him. He's gonna he's gonna flinch a little bit. He looks at you scared. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> While you are distracted, Telram is gonna swing Oy, oh, no. at oh, you. What? One first strike. Oh, that's a two. So you take the dagger, you block, you dodge the, the hammer. Second hammer strike. Oh, oh, shit. That's a nine plus a six is a 15 to hit, that'll miss. They miss. Oh my god, you see Thalia take the, take the strike from the dagger. Dodges one hammer strike. Dodges again, second hammer strike. Thalia just standing. Literally at one Like dance, dancing over this, over this turtle. <laughs> there you go. Thalia. You are baffling these two uh, combatants <laughs> right now. Uh, you are, you are uh, itching to have your turn, but it's not your your yeah, turn, it's Lano. It's, it's your turn, Lano. Cassandra. Get ready. I am oh, going to multi attack again. One d twenty at the lion. Okay. Man, advantage. Um, 1D, yes. Plus six. One d twenty. I Ooh. Oh, yeah, it worked. The, okay, it'll hurt, <laughs> it'll hit. You have multi attack. Roll yeah. another two D twenties. Okay. For your second attack. Actually roll okay. It's two. <laughs> Actually Yay. roll damage for your first strike first. Okay. This is pretty low. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I forgot how much to roll. Uh 1d8. Uh, 1d8. One, one 1d8 one plus 4. Yeah. Ooh. 4. Lano, describe how you in your oh, bear oh form God, yes. knock Yay. out Telram. Uh, bear's gonna... Uh, with a with a roar, uh, the bear's gonna come onto the lion and like on top of him and then bite his... Uh, neck underneath that lion mane and then Ooh. kind of like gnore him like gnore him and then he dies yeah. and then we'll the wild. great we'll take your second attack you can move yeah. down here and <gasps> your those rolls will be on him instead okay. yeah right so you did yeah. a night uh, we'll take the first roll because that's not no because it oh, no, it's not advantage okay, okay. but your first roll of 19 let me see his thing. But Telram will fall. Yeah. He was like, oh, Sir Lanu, you have bested me. <laughs> and he will fall. <laughs> uh, Janetto's armor class, yeah, you're going to hit. So roll damage. Uh, 1d8 plus 4. Wait, no, no. It's not 1d8 plus 4. It's 2d6. Okay. Sorry. Two, 2d6. Plus four. My bad. Ten oh. damage. Okay. Ten damage. Ten damage. Is this a claw? What is this? A bite claw? It is a claw. As you swing your claw, uh, Janetto knows he's gonna get hit. He's gonna dodge just very barely to lessen the damage oh. with his uncanny dodge and have so the have damage to take five instead. Two damage. Okay. The moment he sees that his allies are down and then you are ganging up on him, he will raise his hands and drop his dagger 
and he will say, I surrender. You guys win. You guys win. Are you sure? <laughs> y- 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 yes, I'm sure. I uh, cross my heart. <laughs> he crosses his heart. We just Lana, Lana, will, Lana will transform back into a turtle and be like, uh, shake hands, like good good game to the last man standing. Yeah, yeah he 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 shakes her hand. There you go. Well, well fought, well fought, and then you know all the other allies are being stabilized. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of my 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 comrades now. Good good job, everybody. Illusionary fireworks in the air. Hey, fireworks! The the audience Yay. they start clapping. Yay. Gemma and Jess are like, oh, so good, such a good show, good show. And then Boyd <laughs> Boyd is like. Boyd is like thinking about oh, how I'm gonna make more pancakes later. My maybe if I <laughs> the, the other guys are like clapping their hands, you're clapping. Uh, yeah. uh, Governor Elric is like yes, yes, uh, good good show, everybody. Good show. All right. Uh fast oh, forward. Woosley Woosley runs to to Fatima. Fatima is like, you know, waking up now. Uh, she's being healed. Uh, more of the the other guards are like coming in, giving like you know, uh, you know like med packs to everyone and shit. Who is these like kissing Fatima's cheek? And yeah. Anyway, uh, also as a wreck, you'll be recovered as well. Don't worry. <laughs> they're, not, they're not. They're yeah, not ignoring you. <laughs> <laughs> they're not ignoring you. But yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Uh, Elric. Elric is gonna. Elric and the mayor are gonna go inside, and then they're gonna. They're gonna come here, and then they're going to look to your party and say, "All right, uh, the two of the victors, uh, please uh, approach us over here." Yeah, yeah, get over here. Uh, Gorik says, uh, to surround them. Everyone. Yeah. All of us. Alright. Alright, you guys go there. Uh, and then, yeah, the guards can go back. Alright, at this point, the, the governor will say, That was a very well-fought match. Congratulations to your team. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. Uh, good, good show. Uh, I have some contracts that you need to sign. <laughs> Contract. <laughs> and then Elric is like, very Can well there. Uh, congratulations once again. Are you certain that you will be wanting to join the Gauntlet of Gathering? Yes, that is confirmed. We are. Yeah. Very well. I shall make it known. And then he will face towards the crowd. And then with his booming voice, he will say, Let it be known that on this day, these individuals will be representing Clipper and the whole region of Piat in this year's Gauntlet of Gathering. And then the crowd will clap their hands. Yeah! Good show! I oh, liked it when Lanu wow. turned into a bear. A bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, my favorite is Ruth. <laughs> Clapping their hands. Like, oh, that wood elf is crazy. <laughs> They're clapping wow. their hands. Uh, who is the girl in black? <laughs> clapping, uh-huh. clapping. Yeah. All right. Then, you know, complimenting everybody's performance. So that girl in pink really did showed that elephant guy. Uh, oh, th- that's a big, big man. <laughs> Talking to Cassandra. And that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, while everyone is celebrating, uh, the white woozles are, you know, like taking care of each other. And then they look towards your party and then they're giving like, acknowledging nods and then they kind of retreat back to uh where they stayed for the night but uh you guys 
we're gonna cut to the tavern scene it's a celebration everybody is having fun yeah i heal because i have one hp yes you will heal yeah. uh, so <laughs> don't worry about that <laughs> Let me let me open to the tavern. <laughs> I'll put bricks out in the tavern. <laughs> like oh no. Anyway, uh, I'll open the tavern for you guys, and this will be our last scene for this session and for this chapter. All right. So Boyd is there. Uh, the governor is over there. Uh, the mayor is like you know with you guys on that table but he's just standing and then he's like presenting to you the contracts that you need to sign <laughs> like, so uh you need you need to i need to have your signatures like affixed on like each of these clauses over here like uh even though you are representing clipe and piat you will not we will not be held liable or accountable for any damages and <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boss man, should I sign in in black ink or or blue ink? Like, does it matter? <laughs> oh, uh, you you sign in blood. He looks at you very sternly, and then he and then and then he says, "I'm just kidding. Any form of ink will be oh, fine." Oh, that's joke. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, get me away from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's there. Uh, so the there you go. She is oh over God, there. Gemma and Koan. And then there are oh other God. there are also other people here like the commoners and and shit, you know. Uh, we don't require a token. But yes, we'll, we're not giving them tokens. And then is that everybody that's important? Let me see, let me see. And then uh Telram will enter. Huzzah! Good show, everybody. Congratulations. Oh. And then Janetto <laughs> is like gonna enter. He's like, yeah, yeah, good job, good job, everybody. Uh, you, you did well. And he's gonna go over here to his corner, and he's gonna be moody and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Telram will go over, <laughs> go over here by the fire, and then. Um, I, I want to pull up a chair for Telram to sit next to us. Oh. Oh, oh hell he's no. our friend. Okay. Oh. <laughs> As I see the elephant, I'm just like, oh hell no. He's <laughs> like very big. He's like over there. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't belong here. Uh, Billy <laughs> is gonna enter. He's like, hey, uh, Billy is in the house. Yeah. He's no. gonna go over to the piano. Get away, Billy. Get away. You Get can't. Away. You can't. You can't keep Billy. Billy away. No. And no, then okay. before for... before he plays the piano. Uh, see, Dark Moon. She actually destroyed the piano strings. Are like you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is like going go hard in the. Uh... Yes, I yes. can play music with my minor illusion. Yeah, hey. the only music allowed is 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 size music. Um, Boyd okay. and Gemma um. are not gonna allow you to break the piano. No. <laughs> oh shit! <Never> mind. <laughs> Uh, well, well, before before <laughs> that that whole thing happened, the mayor saw you try to do that, uh, and then he was like, he's like goes over to his contracts and then writes like a new clause. The representatives <laughs> of Clipper are not to damage anything within Clipper. <laughs> <laughs> so, Just make it that the panel looks broken. Oh, the the. You can just, you know, like close the piano and then put a label there that, uh, no, no, no playing. You know, you know, silence on the piano. Things, guys. Piano. Silence on the piano. Okay, you can do that. He tries to play the piano, but there are no keys, and then he tries, he tries to complain. He's <laughs> like. Doesn't oh, hear it. <laughs> what is that? What are you writing? Who is mm. writing that? But yeah, and then Fatima's gonna enter. Woosley is on Fatima's shoulder. Oh. And then she's gonna look at you and then uh she's she looks at you, she like kinda has like a blank stare, and then she just 
uh, you know, looks down on the ground, and then she's gonna sit over here by the fire with Woosley, and Woosley's gonna be there. And then Telram is gonna look over at at Fatima. Ah, yes, Fatima, join us, join us over here. They are very, <laughs> they are very kind. And Fatima will just, you know, like raise her hand. No, yeah. Oh, well, shoot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys want to role play, talk to people. You can do that now. Whew. Oh. No. Uh, can I talk to Fatima? You can talk Just, to uh, Fatima. Hash the, hash the I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play rock paper scissor with the round. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's do a few things first. Uh, Dark Moon goes goes first. Give milk for Woosley. Fatima will. Uh, she'll not smile, but she'll like like nod at you, and then uh, she'll kind of like let Woosley onto the table. Woosley will go over to Dark Moon and like lick from the cap of your of your milk bottle, right? And then Fatima yes, will also like dig into her pocket and take out a biscuit, and in her oh. other pocket, like take another like jar of honey, and then he she's gonna dip the biscuit into the jar of honey yeah. and then put it like on the on the cap as well like on its on the side so more it's like that oh, and then woosley woosley like takes the biscuit and takes the bottle cap and then like he sits back onto on, onto like his back and he's like <laughs> 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 Gremlin. living life okay and then azarek comes along with ruth <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh, could Ruth and uh, Woosley interact or something? <laughs> sure, like <laughs> the moment the moment Ruth arrives, uh, she's like, Nyeh. and then she 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 sits on she sits on the table facing as of wreck. So her butt is like towards Woosley, not noticing Woosley yet. And then R- Ruth is gonna be like, Nyeh. and then looks around and then sees Woosley, and Ruth is gonna like. And you know how cats like they their back yeah. leg go goes goes like in a curve and then like she she stands yeah <laughs> he's like that oh, and then Woosley is like <laughs> and like like goes oh. goes around and like goes around Fatima and then Fatima will say to Azarek just uh, so that it's not awkward because you guys are just being silent. <laughs> it's like you're letting the animals be the distraction. All right. <laughs> Fatima will Fatima will say, um, "That is a very beautiful tresem you have there. What is her name?" He's offering. Uh, her name's Ruth. Uh, Fatima will let out a hand and uh, try to, you know. Offer it to Ruth. Uh, what does Ruth do? You can decide if Ruth is gonna be mean to her or is gonna like, whatever. Uh, Ruth's gonna be nice to her. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Ruth's gonna be nice to her. <laughs> and then she's Fatima's just gonna be like, "Well met, Ruth." Uh, and well met, uh, both of you. My name is Fatima. We know. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I, I do not have the pleasure of knowing your names, save for Ruth, of course. Oh, she doesn't know our names? Did she we doesn't... introduce ourselves, uh, Colin? No, oh, yeah. he wasn't paying attention. Dark Moon, uh, in, the, yeah. in the, in the combat, right? In the fight? She will, you know yeah, what? She'll try to remember. Ten. She will the uh, ten plus plus three is thirteen. She will remember. She'll ah yes, uh, it is. Uh, uh, as of <laughs> as of as of as of res as of as of wreck. Uh, as yeah, of yes, wreck. Yeah, yeah, as of wreck. And <laughs> you are you are black moon. Dark moon. Dark moon. Yes. Uh, House of splendor. My, my apologies. Okay, uh, is there a medic nearby? She seems to have a concussion. Um, uh, I, I am fine. I, am, <laughs> I was not paying attention when you were introducing yeah. yourself uh, so much. 
much. I'll join their table and then I'll bring three three cups. Is that cups of ale? Sure. Boom. For <laughs> myself, for Azarek and Fatima. So, girl, do you drink? Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fatima will will look at the the cup and then she will say, "Not often, but I think." Your victory deserves a celebration. She will yes. she will take the cup and then she will raise it to Thalia. To Thalia. And she will Aww. say To your crew. What is your crew's name? Oh, it's shit. named after you. <laughs> no, the, just the kidding. Fatimas. Well, regardless, <laughs> if you have, and then she will she will say you do need a team name eventually if you want to register for the Gauntlets of Gathering. If you do not have it oh. now, you mm-hmm. might as well think of it uh, sooner or later. Uh, but regardless, to your crew, brave adventurers, strong and powerful, I look forward yeah. to look- your yeah. adventures. I will, I will cheers with her and then I will say to yours as well. Yes, we are the White Woozles. <laughs> and then you guys you guys think uh, you can you can ask a question yeah one more question then we'll move to other people who want to role play go as a rep okay um if you don't mind me asking why did you um want to join the gauntlet i uh fatima will say uh, she'll think for a bit if she wants to tell you and then she will say, I am, I have an interest in visiting the, the capital city, the capital region, rather. Um, I have some unfinished business with some people over there, and the Gauntlet of Gathering was, I would, I would not say was, I think is our opportunity for going there not just not just myself but the rest of us as well and then she gestures to to billy and to janetto and also to tell ram we all have our reasons for joining the gauntlets and we have been adventuring together for quite some time now and uh we have our reasons same as yours I'm sure. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, I hope we meet again in one of our adventures. I I think we might. Uh, it is my understanding that the region of Shest and Shetiri have not selected their representatives yet. Uh, we are not going to stay long here in Klippe. We will be traveling there by first light tomorrow and hopefully make it for the trial quests on those regions as well. Oh, just a lot. You say that, Cassandra? Yes. All right. <laughs> she, Fatima, Fatima will raise a, 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 a mug of ale t- to you. Thank you. All right. Uh, the rest of you, what are you guys doing? Over, uh, over on this table, Telram is like, Yes, and so that is how I defeated the Manticore with nothing but my pinky. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I asked Lana, did you get all that? <laughs> Lana's gonna look at you and then like crawl underneath the table to escape the situation. <laughs> um, Great. Go over, <laughs> go over to Elric. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, Chief. How's it going? How, do you like that fight? <laughs> Elric is like over here. He has a, a mug of ale on the bar as well. And he looks behind him. Yes. And then he kind of like misses you. Uh, Sir Lanu. What? <laughs> down here. Down here. Oh, oh <laughs> yes. Oh, forgive me. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. t- t- take a seat over here. And just drink to this. Sure, sure thing. I sure, sure will. And I get up on there. Um, so uh, then I, I'm going to buy him another ale for when he finishes this ale um sure and then i will ask him if he had any updates on the cast the 
um, what do you call this? The that spell we found in the cave with the water with the. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Elric will say, "Ah, oh, yes, the teleportation circle you are speaking of, yes." yes. Uh, yeah. I have I have my best mages doing an investigation over there. Um, we are still deciding whether or not to continue casting the ritual or not. For I think a teleportation circle here near Clipper would be beneficial. I understand that you found it in not the best of circumstances. We you found that our Enemies have been using it, but if we are to continue this ritual and create a permanent teleportation circle within here in Klippe, it would be very beneficial to us, uh, where we can continue teleporting to uh, other regions of uh, the continent. I think it is uh, it is a very good good discovery. So, mm -hmm. did they find out? Do what? they find out? Does it go to a specific place, or is it just like a door in general that can be opened? Uh, yeah. How anywhere? how teleportation circles work is, it it you it allows you to go to another teleportation circle that you know of in in the world. So it's possible that. So it's not like a one way. No. Or two way. It's not two way because there's no tel there's no permanent teleportation circle in Clipe. So what they used it for before would have been like to transport the goods to that one mm. location, but people mm. could not teleport into Clipe. Uh, so they wouldn't know what the other location would be. Like there was no way of finding out where the teleportation circle had gone before. Governor Elric will explain to you that his mages are trying to figure that out uh, with, mm. you know, what their investigations and like... Uh, trying to figure out the unique runes if there are on the teleportation circle to determine that. Uh, but mm. as of right now, they know that it can be used to go to another teleportation circle. So regardless of what they find, it will be good for Klippe because now they have a means for transportation to and from uh, the city without like having to travel so far. And if they do discover where the where rats were sending the the crates, then that's also good. But it's also not bad if they don't know, if they don't learn it. Cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay. While you guys are having that conversation, uh, Gorik is over here, like talking to talking to Sai and it's like yeah so like uh, after signing your initials over here you must also open to the next and then he opens like the next page oh my gosh what like, a of my <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes so you signed uh, the contract for being uh, representatives of Clipper now you are going to sign the waivers and then after the waivers you are going to sign <laughs> Oh my God. I have to go to the bathroom. Just keep going. <laughs> uh, and then I leave my mage hand to sign the thing. Oh, you cool. you leave the mage hand to sign the things. Okay, sure, I'll allow it. Gorik is like, ah, I, this this is quite unlawful. I need a witness. And then he's gonna look over at, <laughs> look slowly at Cassandra. Oh no. And then he's gonna uh, like inch yeah, closer. He's like, so ah. Uh, <laughs> Since Cassandra it seems that you shot. will be the representative of uh, these contracts over here, uh, uh, yes, I, we give it, give it, give it, give it, come here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> gives it. <laughs> yes, uh, so over there and over here. Oh, oh you're just skimming through it. Uh, you do, you do not seem interested. Oh, um, there goes clause number twenty-two B. Oh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, what else? Anything else? I go to the bathroom. Oh, you go to the bathroom. Okay, you're gonna. You got me, Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. There you. There you go. And then, and then I shape just into all my party members. <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. And then 
draw myself. <laughs> oh. Okay. So with their faces. Right, right. <laughs> Sai takes her time shape shifting into her different party members, trying to recall how they look and then maybe with a little mirror that you have you look at your face while you draw yeah. the face of Azivrek, the face of Lanu, Thalia, Dark Moon and Cassandra all the while while sitting inside this outhouse and then Sai the room the small outhouse will start to feel a bit colder and then from beneath your feet, you will see a centipede cross, uh, crawl across the floorboard and then uh, hide again, hide again into the other side of the outhouse. And then you will hear a voice from behind your ear. And what news have you now, my child? Uh, hello, Ezra. We won the battle. That's oh. the news I have. Excellent. I knew I could always count on you. You have done me well. And so, uh, is it confirmed that you will be representing Piat in the gauntlet? Yes. After signing those darn contracts we darn. finally <laughs> we finally become the representative team and i can finally go yes. attend the gauntlet of gathering how very exhilarating Ooh. you have done well my child I look forward to the rest of your Thank journey. You. you will continue serving me in Gamaril, yes? Of course, Ezra. <laughs> Good. I will leave you to your... And she will kind of like look around the room ah uh, doing i will speak with you again soon my child continue doing my bidding and i will continue granting you powers and of course i will uphold my end of the bargain and make sure that your sweet, sweet friend will remain unharmed, safe, oh and well God. fed. You do that for uh -huh. me while I do this for you. Yes, please. This please is scary. don't. And the cold will go away for a moment and the room will brighten up somewhat a little bit and you feel that Ezra's presence is no longer there then I continue sketching in peace all right oh, like nothing happened like cool. nothing happened <laughs> Michael. cool yo all right, uh, last rounds of roleplay. Am I done signing these contracts yet? You are done. I'll say you're done <laughs> signing the contracts. Do you want to do anything? <laughs> tell Ram, <laughs> tell Ram as this, at, at this point is like, Haha, yes, and after I slayed the scorpion with two heads. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to do something. I'm going to braid Telram's hair while he's talking. Aww. Oh, you go beside Telram. Let's see if he pays attention. He does not pay attention. You're just braiding his head. <laughs> He's like has like a a mug of ale in his one hand, and he has his like hammer just swinging out in the air. And yeah, and then I did a whack, and a pow. <laughs> You're braiding, you know I, braiding his mane. Cassandra <laughs> just finds this cute, and he's just braiding. Oh, he has a, Mr. Cassandra has a crush. 
Yeah, no. I don't know. There you no. go. Okay, that's what's happening with you guys. Uh, how about Lano? What are you doing? I'm asking Elric to tell me tales of. Basically, I'm I'm trying to get him to talk more so I can get more information about the. Okay. The... Gauntlet. Okay. But I'm just I'm saying tell me tales of your, you know, of your gauntlet times and you know it. Yeah. Okay. He Join. tells he tells you that okay, this will be useful information. He tells you that when you go to Gamaril, uh you will be most likely be put in a camp. The camp will you'll be surrounded with all the other competitors as well of Athendel of the different regions of Athendel. All of you will be given, mo- most likely, be given separate tents, right? Like per region, and there will be a large tent where, like, all of you con convene and plan and be given your quests. Uh, he will tell you that. Gamaril is treacherous. There are beasts of uh, various different natures, not r- your regular beasts. And as he's telling you this, Lano, you already know what he's talking about. He's talking mm-hmm. about the possibility of encountering dinosaurs and what? What? Uh, displacer beasts what? and blink dogs and maybe even some trolls and, you know... Uh, hill giants, whatever. So, uh, he tells you all that. Nice. Yeah. Can I ask one one more thing? Okay. Like if anything had changed between the first time they did the the cup and okay. then like how it is now, he will tell you that the first time it felt a bit more noble and honorable mm. where each of the regions actually sent people from their own region they did not mm. you know hire mercenaries or call adventurers from outside of the regions it was mm. that's how you know how old, you know like old people are like back in my day we did it the <laughs> right way we did it the right way <laughs> they say, oh, they yeah. say that the and he's like uh, how now different like the different regions they they hire mercenaries and then some of them are like you know uh, kind of like in uh very underhanded deals and shit so mm-hmm. uh expect i think uh he will tell you that exp- he will tell you back in my time it was uh, very much the case that the adventurers from the other regions would be honorable and should you face each other in combat or go on to quests and you were to be the victor the other regions would accept it uh, honorably and would not try to steal your glory but nowadays what with mercenaries and other shady folk entering the gauntlet this might not be the case your victories might be stolen from you and some spoils that you will be gaining from this uh what for lack of better term conquest will be snatched from uh your own tent so be very very wary of who will be competing in the gauntlet that is my advice to you thanks for the warning chief ah yes take a swig of ale you take a swig of ale uh there you go mira is like in the back she's like helping boyd i guess i forgot to put her there uh okay this table last round of role play uh Could Azabrek, like, go out and bring, like, Ruth with him? To, okay. Like, go to the... He's gonna be like, oh, uh, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom. And then he just goes... But he doesn't actually go to the bathroom. He just goes, like, behind the the bathroom. He has, mm-hmm. like, a emo boy moment. He has a sad boy moment. Because he's okay. the only one that got down. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Just sad boy moment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I can hear. Uh, so he's like tearing up, not tearing up, but like a tear. He sheds one tear and he's like talking to Ruth, like, oh, maybe, maybe father was right. Maybe I wasn't ready. And then like Ruth starts like, uh, yeah. going up to him, like comforting mm. him, like, right, right. And then he like, uh, yeah, he just like, yeah, he's just, he's just sad. He's just sad. But yeah. He, Musters the musters the courage. He finds hope. He's like, you know what? Doesn't matter. I have to just do better. And so, yeah. Yeah. Be oh, Ruth, you're my only companion. Oh. Ruth, Ruth is like, you know, huh? as a cat, like rubbing against your your legs, and then as you like tear up, Ruth is like gonna fly with her like wings and like feathers fall oh. off a little bit, and then she she doesn't oh. like fly this way. Like her wings are like kind of offbeat a little bit. <laughs> we should invest skincare for Ruth or something. <laughs> Ruth like, like some lotion or something. Yeah. Ruth like After oil flies uh on uh in front of you and then like with her paw she kind of like hits you lovingly on the face, kind of like telling you like stop it, stop crying. It's like <laughs> like that. Like that's what she's doing. So cute, Ruth. Yeah. So cute. There you go. Yeah, that's it. That's All it right. for as of Rick. Yeah. That's what ever as of Rick's doing. Great, great. Good role play. Good role play. Uh, Thalia, what are you doing? Drinking with uh, Fatima. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would, I would like to be drunk at this point, please. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and then because I see. Sigh, and, and as a wreck going out, I just assume something is happening outside, so I go outside. As you, and then... as you stand up, Fatima is gonna yeah. like, gonna like grab your your wrist, and she'll be like, she'll be like, you know, oh, no. No. let's go, uh, let's go together. <laughs> like, I really, I really admire you. You're, uh -oh. you're, uh, you're uh, you're a strong, independent. Oh my gosh! Oh, gay panic, gay panic, and uh, gay panic. uh, you know it's just hard. Like me, me, you understand? Oh, wow. Like being being in this like patriarchal society, and oh. uh, we we women, <laughs> we, we yes, we we have to stand up for each other. Yes, exactly. Like exactly. The problem is, they're all these, they're all these bitches. Don't oh, know. And then she's like, she's like, so wrong. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, uh, she 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 goes and says like, it's so hard being the only girl in my crew, and I'm the one who's oh. supposed to know what everything happens. Because I'm the divination wizard. I'm supposed to know. But, like, there are just things I can't control. <gasps> you know? That's right, girl. Yeah. They're, they're putting too much pressure on you. So much pressure. And I yeah, have... Yeah, and uh, it's, it's kind of sad, no? It's so sad. Third like, do, are you, are you c about to cry? If you cry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm about... Don't... I'm waiting for I'm gonna move on to the next table. <laughs> it seems interesting. He's not interesting enough. What's <laughs> happening? What's happening? Sorry, I got cut off a bit. Oh, fine. After breeding Telram, I'm moving to Talia's table. Okay. Okay. I've had enough of his story. <laughs> <laughs> and that was how high I fought, how I fought ten men at the same time. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> He's still going. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The mayor is gonna leave, and he's still gonna keep talking. Yeah, and so there you go, Cassandra. You enter. There's like this this girl 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 moment that's happening over there. Fatima is drunk. Salia is drunk. Woosley is oh, drunk oh, on I honey. Sleep. Okay, you sleep. I just sleep yeah. in, uh, in the hay outside. Oh, <laughs> oh near, <laughs> near the horse. All right. <laughs> but I just look Thalia. at I just look at Dark Moon and go. There you was go. that gay? I see. <laughs> yeah. Is 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 gay? Uh, yeah, yes. 
<laughs> I just be like, hey, horse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, oh the my horse god. is in <laughs> She goes swimming in the in the <laughs> The horse is gonna neigh and he's like yeah, Take it easy <laughs> No cause No cause, cause, cause she's drunk <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, uh, Dark Moon, uh, Dark Moon, last, last for Dark Moon. What are you up to? Uh, well, she, she doesn't really know how to feel about Fatima and, and their team, Kayo. Okay. Oh, maybe they're fine. They were just uptight because you know pressure. Yeah, but as far as she's concerned, Dark Moon still feels like their enemies, ba. Okay. I mean, for now, not yet. Yeah, for you now. Know. But, but like at the back of her head, she's still thinking that. Okay. But anyway, like she is enjoying their company so far, especially you know seeing Fatima more human okay. than usual. Ooh. Okay. But I'm yeah. side eyeing that elephant. I'm side eyeing that elephant. The next time yeah. I see him, I hate I that just elephant. Okay. Same here. I'm gonna. So yeah. Um. Mm. She's gonna pat Fatima on the head. Tunk tunk. Pat pat. And Same. approach Janet, avoiding okay. Billy, of course. Billy's like still trying to play the piano, is trying to figure out. And I don't. Hello, <laughs> Aisha. Sounds. Okay. Yeah, she goes like. Janet rogues. Uh, Janetto yeah. is gonna gonna say. The snow outside is particularly white today. Uh, so th he's conversing to you in thieves can't. So mm -hmm. he's talking to you as if like he's having a normal conversation, but you know as a rogue that you have a secret. You're talking to each other in a, in your secret language. Yes, she's multilingual or whatever. Okay, so okay, intelligent. She's like, indeed, indeed, <laughs> and <laughs> she's just like, so Insana, if I may be, you know, um honest with you thief to thief um i i joined the gauntlet in search of something important to me and my family and i was wondering if you had you have any knowledge of of it and what sort of a uh, flock of uh, murder of crows are you talking about? He's asking you, like, what what family are you talking about? The House of Splendor. His ears will perk, and then he will think for a moment. Uh, roll me an insight check. Mm, Exclamation see? mark C, space insight. In oh, insight. Book. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, okay. Can I, can I roll something else? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He will he will say, Ah, House of Splendor. Yes, yes, your family, your family, family. And he's talking about like your mafia, your mob. mob. Yeah, yeah. You run uh, some of the, the criminal dealings over at Tree, right? I nod. Ah, yes. Hmm. And... Uh... What is... Uh, why have you approached me? Why, why tell me this information? Hmm. Because, like, as thieves... Uh, we... In the, as a thief, you... Might have knowledge of such things that other people I and mean, she's like looking at all these people might not know of yes yes well huh. tell you what If mm -hmm. you do something for me, I'll do. I'll do something for you. What is it that you 
tabaxis always say, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours? That's a stereotype, but, but yes, sure. Well, we live in stereotypes. I mean, people always ask me, how's the weather down here? But anyway, <laughs> uh, I am part of a group. You know, as thieves, we are all sort of part of this large thieves' guild. But inside these thieves' guild, there are also separate groups and what have you, yes? Uh, my particular group, we are called the Swerfneblin Syndicate. <laughs> How do you spell that? Yes, it is S-V-I-R-F-N-E-Blin Syndicate. Over here, I'll send okay. it. It's over here. Is he lying? Insight. Can I check again? Insight. Oh. He does not seem to be lying. Oh. Mm. Yeah, he will say, we are a group of uh, rogue rogue uh, deep gnomes if you see and one of them has become quite a uh, pain in my ass i would say uh there are quite a few of us joining the gauntlet of gathering or attempting to join the gauntlet of gathering because it is very difficult to Say no to an opportunity to steal in a different continent, would you say? Would you not say? Mm. So a lot of us have been attempting to join. There are many of us who, are, who will be taking part, trying our luck joining, being representatives of the other regions. And one in particular is a thorn. Since your crew has found their way into representing Piat. If you find this, if you find other deep gnome rogues, be wary of them. And there's one in particular that I want you to... Who is this deep gnome rogue? And he will whisper to you. And he will say, Beware not the bite of the manticore, but the sting of its tail. And then he will, uh, like, spill the ashes of his, of his, uh, what is this called? Pipe. <laughs> Pipe. <laughs> Onto, uh, into his mug, and then he will nod and say, huh? Uh, yeah, yes, good day. Good job. And congratulations once again. <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> Wait, before he leaves, can I steal like something from him, like a coin? Steal? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just stuck for that. Oh. Okay, sleight of hand. See? <laughs> Check, yes, yeah, sleight of hand. Hi. <laughs> Almost. He will, he will catch you stealing. He will grab, he will grab your hand, and he will say, "Ah ah ah! You have still much to learn, young thief." And then he takes out from his pouch a bag of gold that is yours, and then he throws it at you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like, Very much to learn indeed. And then he, uh. he, he walks, and then you see him walk out. And then he kind of like falls into a big pile of snow. <laughs> he didn't notice that the ground kind of like, kind of like went down there. And he goes up. Whoosh. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, very much to learn indeed. <laughs> goes Hello, <laughs> it's Janet. Eh? Yeah. Or Janet. There you go. Uh, the thing in the pipe was also another like thieves code situation so you you can look into the mug and then you'll have your in, some information there also the also the 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 thing that he told you uh i'll just message you later 
Okay. Okay. And as the day grows, uh, goes on, the tavern is filled with merriment and drinking and ale. Fatima and Fatima has, you know, like dispelled the magic here in the silence because Billy was not really figuring that out. And then they they start like grooving and jamming, and like Fatima is like really <laughs> out of it right now. Uh, <laughs> Lano and Elric are drinking. Jessa and Gemma are just catching up. You know, you know, twin, twin, twin stuff. Gorik is like <laughs> reviewing, reviewing his contracts, and Telram has not even noticed that no one is listening to him anymore. He's like, yes, <laughs> and that is how I. And then uh, Boyd is like happily cooking pancakes, and then he's teaching Mira how to make them as well. Mira is like happily learning as well. Uh, Sai, Sai is sketching on her sketchbook as a wreck is, uh, you know, yeah. trying to like, ha- yeah, <laughs> having that moment with Ruth right now, and this is where our chapter ends for the okay. for Gauntlet of Gathering. And chapter one is finished. You guys level up. Okay. Level nice. four. You're lying. You're lying. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna tell you all your rewards later. You guys receive like a lot of gold. Like, yes. So each I'm gonna tell you money. that each. Yes, each. So yes. I'll I'll list that in the rewards later. Uh, but that's that. I hope you guys had a good time. Enjoyed the session. And, yeah. Very much. Uh, yeah. Con- <laughs> congratulations. Uh, I'm going to defend myself a bit yeah, and end the YouTube videos. And uh, I'm going like, to def- comment, subscribe. Uh, like, subscribe, like, follow oh, thank you. Like, comment, Yes, yes. Like, okay. <laughs> All right. That's DM. Oh, thank you. I'm going to defend myself. Hold on. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching Gauntlet of Gathering, Episode 3. This is the finale for this chapter. There are going to be three more chapters after this so a total of 12 episodes if you enjoyed so far consider continue watching the show uh this episode was a little bit longer because uh, it is the finale of this chapter but i hope you guys stick around for uh, the episodes to come um this channel is still fairly new i don't have things like the youtube banner and like the like what the display pic but i'm still figuring things out for this and there you go. Uh, some of the players, I'm going to have their social media links in the description. Uh, i also like to thank the artists who, you know, uh, made the, uh, the artwork for some of these NPCs and uh, links to their uh, information and websites are also in the description. Um, that's it. Uh, thank you so much again for watching Gauntlet of Gathering. And uh, I hope to see you stick around for the episodes to come. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Bye-bye.